Now, again, I watched a good portion of this last night. Eric July has gotten on my radar, and I've talked about him before, laughed at him before, but he's really gotten on my radar after his performance, well, reaction to Riley's performance coming to his warehouse and putting up a sticker on his fucking warehouse window and all this shit. And um, it was... You thought it couldn't get any worse, but it actually did last night. I don't know what he was thinking. He demanded his way on to the Ricada stream. And then we, we watched his segment last night where he trashed Ricada, which I was kind of surprised at, but it got worse for him. And Ricada was being nice, but also nice in that he picked him apart, honestly. He picked him apart uh, in the classic Ricada style. It was it was, it was was bad. It's particularly bad because Eric July clearly knows nothing about the law or even like, you know, I know a little bit. And I, ta I said the exact same thing Ricada said about his analysis before this happened last night. And he said, well, you, <laughs> you can't shoot somebody for walking up to your warehouse. That's not an imminent danger. Now, if they had a gun pulled out, or even on them, maybe, and said they were going to shoot people, then you could do that. You can't just shoot somebody walking up to your warehouse. You can call the police for trespassing, but you can't just pull out a gun and smoke them. That's not how it works. Assmaster says, dead on my feet, been up all night partying for the birthday. Now I'm back at work wishing I was dead. Well, I've been there, but uh, I hope you had a good birthday. I haven't been there this year because I was here on air and didn't party. I haven't been partying. That's been uh, ex nayed from the agenda, but... I've been there before. I've been there before. So Eric July demanded his way onto this stream, and it didn't go well. It didn't go well, to say the least. And it got even worse when I turned it off, believe it or not. It got even worse. And he basically talked himself into a charity fraud, which <laughs> wasn't a good idea. Uh, he volunteered all this, too. It wasn't... Uh, it wasn't demanded, right? He demanded the opportunity to embarrass himself. <laughs> Which, you know, I've done that before myself. <laughs> so I can't say, but uh, just from having experience on that, if you demand the opportunity to embarrass yourself, somebody will probably acquiesce and give you that opportunity. Uh, I've been in the business long enough. If you demand, If you demand the chance to embarrass yourself, most likely you'll get that opportunity and it will turn out badly for you. Now, this was bad by any standard. Uh, he has not seen my message yet. I'll, uh, I do have his number, I think, here. So I'll also text him the link. And, uh... Okay, let's get... Oh, let me... What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> Too much drama, man. Right, let me resize. Too yeah. much drama. Oh, no, and I good. think uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding going on. But um, look, Let's just uh, let's just be out with it. Be fully frank. I'm good with that. I wanna I wanna bury all this shit because I I hate this stuff. So, okay. uh, what you got? By the way, me? the Eric July heads and some of the Comicsgate people were so pissed at Ricade over this, and they've been bitching at him all day. And um, they're low IQ. Man. Oh no! I figured that instead of like you know talking around it and you know at talking at audience and all that good stuff, I figured that why not talk directly? Definitely, if uh, you know. I'm saying something about you or you saying something about me. I figure why not talk, talk directly. I, I've been with you on that. I think this whole kind of ordeal is gay um, and, and should be ended. Uh, however, I think in order for that to kind of be on the table, if that's something that we both want, you remember I told you this initially, we need to be honest about it and let's not act like this is one of those, hey, this is this guy versus that guy thing. That's not what this is. I didn't start this. Um, or you definitely did I had not. Nothing to do, I had nothing to do with any of that. Um, but yeah, it's reached kind of a level that is, you know, it's gay. I, I agree with that 100%. It's gay, yeah. Yeah, and to be very clear, uh, I don't know if you heard or saw, uh, or maybe you did and you didn't think it was genuine, and, it, and I don't know. But uh, I did say that, um, you know, Riley going to your place of business, while I don't think it was illegal, and we may have some disagreements over that, and there may be details that I can't see uh, in regards to the property, but from what I've seen, I don't think it's illegal, but I did say, bad move, he shouldn't do it, given the tension, I think it's a really, really bad play. Um, I don't like people doing that shit. I wouldn't want them doing it to me either. I get it. Uh, so that was, uh, that was a thing I said last night when it was brought up to me. I wasn't aware of it until someone super chatted and I had to like look in, or I might have seen it or something, but uh, someone super chatted and I addressed it right then um, in my last stream. So I do not think he should have gone to your place of business at all. Uh, but at the same time, like if people ask me about legalities, specifically self-defense, like I'm going to give them my legal opinion. That's, uh, that's still true. And I was, I think right before, um, 
uh, we got, or that I saw that you were in chat, I was saying that there are two practicalities, right? There's what you can legally do, and then there's what you should and shouldn't do. And I think what Riley did is something you shouldn't do. Mm -hmm. So uh, I want to be very well, clear I, on that. And, I, and I'm cool with that. Uh, I, you know, there is a point of contention there. Um, there, I'm obviously not a lawyer, but I'm at least familiar enough with it. Certainly obviously. with our team, as well as what's actually happening. Also, there's a hyper chat on Odyssey. Aleph, shout out to Aleph. This is about Dianne Feinstein, but fuck that bitch. We should celebrate the death of our enemies and sully their names forever as they deserve. Yeah, I understand that take for sure. And uh, fuck that bitch for sure. I agree with that. It's happening on it. Thank you, Aleph. Um, you know, again, my issue with it is less legal uh, versus illegal anyway. Uh, but again, I do question that whole legality aspect of it all because, yeah, I make the argument and certainly everybody here is making the argument that for sure, definitely considering at nighttime, that is criminal mischief, right? Um, uh, and yeah, and they, argue, definitely because he's writing on stuff and he's putting notes up and all that good stuff. And in Texas, if you don't know, you can. By the way, and this is what not anything that I'm advocating, right? I want to be very, right. very clear about that. But, you know, definitely because we're talking about the legality of deadly force and all that mm -hmm. good stuff in Texas, you're committing a, a criminal mischief at night. You absolutely have the right. It's right there uh, in Section 9 of the te uh, Texas Penal Code. And, you know, you can read it verbatim. It specifically addresses you being able to use deadly force uh, for someone uh, committing criminal mischief at night on, on your property. So but however, you know, that aside, because that was never really on the table, uh, the argument about that, I don't know if that's if you're if you're more so hearing that from be it our audiences or something of that nature as far as deadly force. The only argument that I've made is that it is irrational for someone that does not want to be there, uh, that people don't want to be there. Right. Um, and there is more information on that uh, for someone to come there. Right. Uh, definitely with us having armed guards uh, there and, um, you know, committing any sort of weird stuff. That's just not. Uh, rational for anybody, especially people that, um, you know, considering that I'm not there and, you know, you're dealing with other people uh, and their individual livelihoods, because look, you might think it's a joke and it's all good and all fun and games, uh, Nick, but uh, for no, us- I clearly stated, I, I don't think that it was a good thing to do. Right. Like and, and and I just, just want it to be clear that I definitely as a business, uh, a business owner cannot afford to treat it as if it's just, hey, it's something, something that's a joke and it's just jokes, bro. Um, definitely considering that again, I'm not ever there. And that is a building that uh, other people don't like weird folks doing weird stuff, be it to the building, because nobody knows if it's going to escalate to anything else. And uh, I don't know these cats, but um, that's not uh, something that I would take lightly either way it goes. So legality aside, that is um, uh, something that I think is just weird and kind of off the wall. Yeah, of course. And, and obviously it, the law doesn't matter if you got a hole in you, right? Like it doesn't matter for that guy. That guy's dead. He's done. Um, and, and people who do that, again, uh, Alex Stein does that shit. I, I'm not a big fan of that. I like when he goes to the public meetings. I think that's funny. But when, when you go into other people's businesses and into other people's lives, I mean, you, you are taking a risk. Legal, not legal. Uh, no, no bones about that. But I, I got I to, gotta, but one, I'll affirm what you said. Uh, Texas does have a use of deadly force in defense of property against criminal mischief only at night. Um, I, I'm unclear. Did he show up at night or during the day? Because he it, it showed that that whole deal where he the, left the markings and all the drawings and stuff on it. That was at night. That's at night. Like that what time? Night. Night? What time? I, I'm. That, again, that was like I'm it. not exactly. Uh, it was around like eleven. Don't you have security cameras or something? Or? Something like that. It was well within the night. The, the, okay, because the it was completely down. Yeah, it's like pretty in the night. Well, the video is well lit. I don't know where the light's coming from. Well, but no, not like, when he not when he stuck that. I mean, maybe it was well lit in terms of the light, but he was it was clear yeah. that night when he did it. There was no he didn't. The only thing that he did was kind of weird. He kind of drove in and he backed up and he drove past it at during the day and took a picture. Uh, mm -hmm. But other than that, that was it. He never he never did uh, uh, anything like that during the day. That was that was at night. There was nobody. Also, there. we have his stream. So he did this stream and then he came on this morning. Now he ended up privating the stream, but I have it pulled up and loaded from before. Oh wow, it stopped as soon as I said that. Oh, you fucker, YouTube, you piece of shit. Well, I think we'll get the clips for that at some point today. So he did a stream and then privated it after. And um it was pretty bad too, but this is even worse. Sure. And I again, I don't know. So I'm I'm taking your word at it, full faith. Like I have no problem accepting that it was at night. I just, I wanted to clarify from someone yeah, yeah. who knew because like I said, from the video, uh, it's it's never clear how lighting shit plays out. So with that said though, um, the funny part about law is like, uh, 
there are disagreements over stuff that Absolutely. many people find obvious. And I got to take one issue with you just on the, the criminal mischief, mm -hmm. which is what Texas calls vandalism. Um, criminal mischief almost always requires some level of damage or burden on someone. So I think you're running a real risk with suggesting that stickers on a window is going to come out to be criminal. According mischief. to the penal code, though, it specifically says markings include inscriptions, slogans, and drawings. That's all. Yeah. It says. So yeah, it's damage, be, I mean, if you're talking about damage, yes, that's included. If you can break the window and do all that good stuff, obviously that that is completely obvious. And, you know, I'm willing to accept a disagreement, but certainly our guys on that side don't see it that way. And to be honest, you know, that's. Well, look, it doesn't matter how your guys see it. It's the law. Well, I didn't see things a lot of different ways and it didn't help me in court. I, I think that's what matters. However, and it's well, not it's, like, it's yeah, not, though. like, you know, it, it's not what matters though, because what matters. <laughs> no shit. Oh, uh, well, our guys don't really see it that way. And, uh, you know, it's what a prosecutor sees, right? right. Exactly. And how the law has played out. And so I'm going to, I'm going to offer a mild rebuttal okay. and simply say that inscriptions, markings and stuff like that is referring to graffiti, to marker, to something that's actually applied to the property mm -hmm. that would take some sort of effort to remove. And if you read a little farther into the statute, you'll actually see them explain that there has to be some sort of pecuniary loss that, or Nick. economic burden in either uh, the damage to the property or the removal from the property in mere incidental um, annoyances and removing something like a sticker doesn't usually measure up. Now, of course, there are some stickers, right? That a huge sticker that you slap on, you got to get hire someone to like use solvents and shit to remove it. These look like relatively small stickers that would pop off without any effort. I think you'd be right, on real James. shaky ground. Yeah, every time I took that mindset, I went to jail. Yeah, I mean, I've had that mindset myself, but um, it doesn't really matter how you interpret it or your people interpret it. It's how the prosecutor and the judge and or jury interprets it. Not you, sorry, you weren't there. But anyone would be on real shaky ground trying to justify putting a right. hole in someone over those stickers well, uh, or again, even suggesting that a prosecutor would uh, or, or a cop even would write an infractionary ticket on this misdemeanor offense. Like, there's no way, man. It's not spray paint. Uh, well, again, I, I, again, I, it's not necessarily we see it that way. Definitely considering that, you know, there were drawings uh, that were that were actually there and there's some weird stuff that was read on it. And, you know, I'm not going to sit up here, uh, wrote on it. I'm not. What did it say? Do we, I didn't actually see that. I'm not going to sit here and repeat it uh, by any means. But, you know, he's too good for that. I, I, I see. I see that, you know, th that being your sort of position and that it's always been the case or you feel like that that's generally the case of being to justify putting a uh putting a hole uh or oh, it just had bunnies on in, it in i figured it had something to do with bunnies one our guys don't see it that way and um i've, I've seen people get aired out for a lot less however i don't even think i would highly strictly, suggest uh, an alternative opinion on council if uh, you think a sticker with a 20 dollar bill under it justifies a if, if, if that's, well, again, their legal that's advice, the argument though that's where i think the gaslight is because no, that's not the that's not the position the position isn't that Okay, I'm trying to make the argument that to justify putting a hole in someone. What How I'm did this guy get fucking so much money? It's all the blaze, isn't it? How the fuck did he get all this cash for a fucking comic book that sucks? I can't. Maybe I should have went into the comic books. I don't know. And more blackface. Uh, talking about it. And what the only argument it is that I'm making in this regard, because again, shooting someone over a sticker. That would be silly, though it wasn't simply yeah, it that. Be. I think it's being kind of disingenuous yeah. to even just. Yeah, that would be silly. So why are you and all your fucking fans talking about that on Twitter? Classified as oh, this guy just merely oh, just being funny. Just put a little put put a couple of snicker, stickers up that Snickers. was uh you know they just th threw on there and like that. That's what you need. You need a Snickers. You're hungry, obviously. <laughs> you need a Snickers, July. That's exactly what you need. There was no nothing being said or no drawings or any of that that had well, anything that to do the with equation. that. I, I don't know what the, well, that, was no, there it, a threat of violence? Yeah, well, yeah of course there's been okay. actionable threats. And and my What's argument, that? but even What's that, the threat? this, the whole, the reason the guy was there was because, because of that. He's recorded himself on video saying that, well, this is supposedly an actionable threat. Whether you, now the well, old I mean, argument is his, that we uh, think Riley's it's, retarded. His legal opinions are right, relevant. Well, so, well, no, 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 I'm saying that that's threat? what, like, all, right, all right, all right. So th my, well, my, well, my position is if someone, first of all, is stalking for someone to drive across the country to appear at a business that again, isn't public. And when I say it's not public, Ricada, I'm not saying that- By the way, uh, nice and chat, you're a retard. I don't have any Discord buddies, dumb fuck. So go suck the, <laughs> go suck start a shotgun. There are no Discord buddies on mine. I barely even get on there, although I need to soon. I checked into it last night because I have the Discord. And it's $5 a month support level, but I'm almost never on Discord. There are no Ralph Discord buddies, you dumb fuck someone can't access it 
that's not the argument it is that I'm making. I'm saying that this is not something that there's no commerce happening there, right? In that okay. specific building that we are at. The only way that you can get in, there are two ways that you can get in. There's a gate, there's a private gate that you can get in uh, that way, or you can drive. There is a road where you can kind of uh, drive in, but that does not face, it's can, not a road. You can drive into a driveway into the parking lot, right? Yeah, you can drive into a driveway now into listen the parking lot, and that's why y'all stuff there? is strategic. Tr now listen to him describe, he tries to talk about it's a gated area, but I don't care, nice. Take that shit somewhere else. I don't give a fuck. They watch all your streams? I don't give a fuck. What can I police who watches my streams? Doesn't matter to me. Take it somewhere else. Also, who cares? Why are you try trying to start shit in my chat? That annoys me. But don't take it so harsh if I worded it wrong. Well, just take it somewhere else because it has nothing to do with me. And stop distracting me because you're really starting to annoy me. It has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Nobody gives a fuck about it in chat. I don't give a fuck about it here. So take it somewhere else or be gone. One or the other. That's your decision. Now I have to reset this. So he starts describing how it's gated. And in his description, there's only, it's not actually gated. There's gated on three sides, which means you can just drive up to it. And so it's not privately gated. Base Fran says, Yizzo, that Jim Goat interview was bananas. And this is the least interesting story this week. Wait, hold on. I'll try to, man, it goes so fast. It goes so fast on there. The level's five now, so I'm trying to speed read it. Uh, he says, this is the least interesting story this week besides that gay-ass debate. This one's, I like this story, actually. I wasn't fully into it until he decided to spurg out over this. So, yeah, I actually like this story. I wasn't fully involved until, until this. And then it got even worse after we did our segment last night. For some reason, he demand this wasn't Nick's idea. This was Eric July's idea. And like I said, it gets much worse. Road where you can kind of uh, drive in, but that does not face, it's can, not a road. You can drive into a driveway into the parking lot, right? Yeah, you can drive into is, a driveway into the parking lot. And that's why our stuff there? is strategic, st huh? Is there a gate on that driveway into the parking lot? No, 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 there's not drive? a, into that parking lot, no. There's no, there's no gate. The gate is around on the other side, which is the only other way to access it. However, where we're at, you cannot drive. There's no place to go going that direction towards our building that will then, like you can't, there's no reason to be over there other than, Let's say, again, you're coming to see us, you're invited or something of that nature. There's no drive through. Like our building is sectioned that way, the way that it is. It's us and that's it. That gate that is there. And that Nick's facial expressions on this are just top tier. That's it. You cannot drive. <laughs> then when he starts describing the charity, which Nick didn't even want to talk about. I still haven't watched that clip yet, by the way, because I turned it off about 30 minutes into this, uh, 30 or 40, because... I was like, okay, this is only going to get worse and I'm going to watch it on air. So I'll stop through our building to get or our side of that building to get somewhere else. That's not is how the design gate of the building. Thank you. Side of the building? Yes, uh, correct. On that side, there absolutely is a gate blocking both sides, actually, because on the end of that street or not a street, I guess that road, whatever you want to call it, it is the drive, the parking lot, right? If you will, there are yeah. two gates on, on either side. This is why he drove through, had to turn around to get out because that's the only way that you can get in or out on that on, on that particular side. So again, okay, that wait, clar clarify, please. Sorry, <laughs> you, you said at first that there was a gate on one side, but the other side didn't have a gate and there was a driveway from the road into it. Correct. <laughs> that side is good. It's not gated then. <laughs> the same but what i'm the more the, the, i mean you have to see it is what it is that i'm saying no we picture, understand the other i'm certainly not showing it online um, I <laughs> certainly not certainly not i can imagine why you don't want to show well we can all understand what you're saying eric it's not really that big brained i mean it's <laughs> There's a gate around three sides, and then you can just drive up on the side that doesn't have a gate. Okay. I do have one uh, for sure. Um, and I'm sure. Can you privately send it. it to me? I won't. I won't pull it up. Can you? Can you message it to me? I guess. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna I mean, explain I... how it is that it is. Yes, sure. Nick, you can get to it from the road, and there's no gate there. What I'm saying okay. is the only other way right, to get enough. in is a gate on the opposite side. So, for example, our building is at the end of this lot, if you want to uh, call it that. You can get out during that lot, but there are two gates on both sides, right? That's the only way you can get in and the only way you can get out without driving through the side that the idiot came from, right? But, but that's, that's what I'm saying. 
I know, but this, this is so confusing because now you're saying there's gates on either side. Yes. But then you're saying that he drove through another side and got yeah, in. So look at it like three sides because there's nothing but fencing on the That's other what on, we're on, looking on at. one side, right? So you have a fence. Look at it like this. Like you got a fence, right? And then mm -hmm. on opposite yeah. sides of that of that fence, right, is, is, our, is our building. We know what a three-sided gate is, you fuck. Right? You sure. can get out. So get on the street, do whatever you need to do. There are two sides. If you went left or if you went right, there are gates on both sides. There is only one way, if you're not entering through that gate, to get in to where our building is. Not everybody right. else's building. To get into where our building building is, there's only one way to get in not using those two gates. You so there's a up. way to it's get like in without using like the team. gate. Correct. Okay, but yeah, like you see the issue <laughs> right. there, right? That there is a publicly accessible way in without a gate. Issue as far as what? <laughs> I mean, um... Okay, so you can have, if you have three entrances and two gates, and one mm -hmm. of them is just an ungated entrance to a public road, that's not fenced in. That's not gated. Not from that side, it's not, no. <laughs> yeah, no I, but I'm saying, I what, do you, what, you. what do you mean, like, what do you mean as far as <laughs> with the issue? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not understanding yeah, I agree what with you, you. Your, your meaning there. Well, if you can, if you can drive in from a public road, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing it as private, is all. That's See, all right, so now, now it's, a, it's more of a, uh, I guess, semantics, or you want to argue illegal. No, I'm, I'm not trying to understand, get, man. I'm not trying. I'm not making an argument that you can't get there. Like any anybody can't just drive up it, up into the there. Let's say to get to our building. That's not the argument I'm making. The only position it is that I have is that our building, our our building, as far as accessing it and being in there, like any anywhere near there. The only reason why someone would need to be there is if we were would they invited. They were invited there. Or they, just drove, the, they just drove into the drove into the driveway. Yeah, just drove, in, dro drove into. When I'm talking about, uh, but you private, don't need an invitation to drive into the driveway, right? Like, no, you don't need an invitation to drive into the driveway. What I'm okay. saying is, there's okay, all right. Well, you're wrong then. There's no reason for someone to be there. I think there's been there's been some confusion because some people maybe saw like a logo on the side or something. They thought it was a storefront that was facing the store. It's not. Oh no, I don't think it's a storefront. Well, I'm not. No, I'm just I'm just okay, making yeah, I'm yeah. just making the case. Right. But that's what I mean, and that's what that's the point of contention. You're making uh, the case, all right, uh, Nick. When I'm saying like the one hey, against it's not you, a, this guy showed up to a place that is a private, like a private location. It's not our public address. There's no reason for there to be uh, uh, commerce or any anything as far as us doing business with with uh, other people. There's no like you can't even get into our actual building without you know either keypad access or or what what, what have you. That's the only way you can he, get inside our actual. Did building. he go in the building? No, he didn't go in it. Okay, he wouldn't clarifying. have been able to get in there. Yeah, on the open side that he would have had to drive through to get mm -hmm. in, because like uh, obviously he doesn't have the gate key. Mm -hmm. uh, and you said, I, I think you said he drove in from that open side, right? Um, right. Is there like a sign that says uh, no access or or private uh, property or anything like that? No trespassing. Is is there any clear posting? Now watch that this. Would indicate to someone that they can't come in there. No, no. <laughs> Um, is there a no trespassing sign at least? Um, well, no, no, there's not. Oh, okay. Okay, you're on real shaky ground. So <laughs> like, like, again, you're using okay. private in a context that I'm not using it in. So I'm okay with you right. using mine's, it legally. Mine's, mine's right. the legal context correct, because correct, I'm correct, answering correct, legal correct, questions. That's correct, all. Correct. And, all and, right. and, and I totally I totally empathize with that and what it is you're saying. That has absolutely nothing to do with the argument it is that I'm making. Okay, cool. The that's that's fine. That I have. I've I'm never I, okay. Well, then what you're not making a legal argument, then you can't shit somebody. Then obviously, Clarify yeah, he, he was there. No shit, you can get there by just driving up in there. That's never been the point of contention by anybody here. Okay, the only gotcha. argument that we're making when we're talking about public versus private is that it's not a storefront, there's no uh reason for anybody to be over there. We don't have that as our public address, there's no reason for anybody to be there. That's the only position it is that we have on that. So um, when you say there's no reason to be there. So I he didn't know. trespass if there's no trespass, not trespassing sign. Maybe you should put one of those up now, Eric. But... I'm curious, like, and don't take this the wrong way because I'm trying to understand. What's the relevance of that? The relevance of that because there was no reason for him to be there. Right, but like, Other than do you need a reason to be somewhere in the U.S.? Say what? Do you need a reason to be somewhere in the United States? As far as what? I don't know. Well, I mean, the like, guy I, went there. All right. So I the sat only... in a parking lot the other day. I didn't have a reason. I just needed a place right, to park. Right. Okay. Okay. I know well, he's there. <laughs> I know he's there to visit well, your business. Well, that's in the a only point it is that I'm making. A, a, a psychopath showed up and there was, he was not invited there. That's the point it is. Psychopathic lunatic. Is Riley, I mean, Riley's yeah. dumb, but is he a psychopath? Uh, yeah, something like it. I like to. I like to think he's a crazy son of a bitch for sure. Are you scared of Riley? No. But I, I cannot not take that serious. Consider. Then he goes into the arm shaving thing. And that he showed up to a place of business that I'm not there. And I have employees. Now, surely you can you can empathize with that, right? That Again, I said some I, fat, I, I wouldn't fat, want him to hold do on, it. Hold on, let me finish real quick. Somebody sees a fat, stinky person, uh, uh, you know, doing whatever gay shit 
outside of a building, right? And we know that the person drove across the fucking nation, right, to do this weird shit. Right. And he's dicking well, yeah, around. He out. just admitted he's not afraid. That's another, right, you have to have fear of imminent danger bodily harm but. out front and he's online high side and saying that he's gonna he's gonna keep doing it surely you can at least admit that that is some weird shit and that is a cause for concern for people for security reasons that are there especially other folks that work there because we can't take the guy's word for it that it's just a joke that's the uh, you can at least understand that correct I, that's been my position the whole time that okay. what he did that's, was dumb okay yeah what he did was what he did was dumb and that's what it is that i'm saying as far as me being scared or me fearing for that that has nothing to do with anything i wasn't even there and i'm not there right but other people right. are and we can't sit up here and just i can't afford to just be like and nor, nor can our security team afford to just be like yeah it's just a guy just uh, uh uh dicking around like we can't afford to do that it's, um, you know forgive me i don't really trust him that that's all that he'd leave it at is just hot siding on the internet and taking pictures and stuff i'm not saying you need to take his word on it. i'm just trying to get uh, in the mindset here so you say that you have to take it seriously what do you yes. mean by that like what, what does uh, that just, mean just jail? just just that like we have to take it seriously like i can't just sit up here and and approach it as if it's just some guy that's joking right i have no idea if he's gonna come back do some other gay shit escalate that because he is bad shit i have no idea and it would be ill-advised for lack of better terms for us to pretend like nothing could come from that definitely considering <laughs> that the guy is at least crazy enough to drive all the way over here to appear at an address that he had no business being there where did he drive from i have no idea he's not from here well you keep saying across the country so i don't know like yeah well he it's not from here okay yeah uh and so he drove specifically from where he left to you to do Correct. this like that Correct. yes do you yes. have any other purpose in driving across the country like uh i i like to think not i think he's driving to dick's show tomorrow by the way but why well, I mean, you you think not or you do you know i don't know like, what if he was going I, somewhere I, else like and he and just happened there on just, the way just stop by okay uh yeah. okay yeah that uh it, it's it's not even though he said that he was going to end up doing that, Nick, uh, he just up and did it and he would just happen to be in town. Okay. But again, like it, it, there's a lot of ascriptions that happen and I'm trying to just get the story from that. Like, look, dude, all right, all right, Riley, so, all right, here's the story. The story is the guy is some weird on some weird shit, injected yep. himself into some, uh, into this goofy shit. And he went mm -hmm. to our place that a uh, business that he had no business being at. And he showed up doing weird shit. And yes, that's going to be a cause of a concern for the people that are are there. And no, I'm not but going to lightly. I can't afford to because in I the event that let, let me say this, because in the event that it does escalate, I'm the one that has to deal with that. Yeah, and so now I'm trying to get to the next step. So you said you, mm -hmm. you got to take it serious. I agree. Uh, did anybody ask him to leave? Say what? Did anybody <laughs> ask him to leave? The property? I not to my knowledge, he never spoke to anybody here. Did anybody call the police? Well, he, I'm, I'm sure they did after the fact. Our security team, we had as a CYA. Are you sure they did? Or no, they I'm did? positive. I'm positive they did. Yeah. So we. Okay. I, I, they, uh, they, yes, they, they, they had to as a CYA. You could surely understand that, Nick. I mean, I don't know that they had to. There's no. Well, legal no, requirement I, I'm saying that you understand why, as a as a CYA, you got to call the the law boys. I understand it would be the law boys. Please yeah. follow up. Is the it? law boys. Powertech.live slash the Ralph Retour. Killstream.live slash tip. Hit like because that's free. Checkit.com slash Killstream slash pay me. Dollar sign Sunset Squad on Cash App. Rumble Rants. Hyper Chats on Odyssey. An incident report? Yes. Correct. Yes. Cool. Like that's yeah. a good thing. I'm yeah, glad no, it that is. happened. It has, again, that's as a, C, as a CYA, I kind of I have to do that. I have to do that. Yeah, Surely really you understand that. We understand. Yeah, that. I, I, of course. So, uh, are the police going to... Sure, we understand, us? Eric. BG White sent $5. We need an informed third party to weigh in. Does Riley stink or is Eric Capin? I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. I don't know where he gets that. Has he ever even met Riley? I don't know where he's getting that from. He said some sources told him that. And then he said nobody was there. So, I don't know. He's just full of shit. That's against him? Oh, we'll see about that. We'll see. They yeah. didn't indicate anything to you. No, they have, but we'll see. Let let's let the, let let them do their thing. Obviously, you okay. understand why I wouldn't I wouldn't want to talk about all of that. Uh, no, but that's fine. <laughs> like, I'm, that's I'm not. Fine. That's fine. I don't determine what people should and shouldn't do. So, like, I'm not. Okay. Well, uh, just just in case some shit hits the fan, I, I'm good on that. But yeah, they they right. obviously are aware of it. They have to be. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Again, I'm not trying to say anything either way. I just. Like, again, I don't put words in people's mouths. I, right. I just don't right. do it. Right. So, okay. So they call the police. Uh, Riley's gone before police show up. Did they, did the police show up or did they just yeah. talk on the yeah. phone? No, they, they, they went there. They went okay, to, cool. they went but, to the building. Yeah. Those security guy were all there. Yeah. 
Okay, again, I don't know this, so I'm just asking for clarity because mm -hmm. it's not online. Mm -hmm. So, uh, or I haven't seen it if it is. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, so then the next question though is, um, you you mentioned like some writings and stuff like that, uh, and you said actionable threat, and I, you've you've used a couple things, and this is the frustrating part about talking law because you, you've said a couple things that are terms of art in law that have specific definitions and specific. Okay, all right. So let me. All right, I, so, I, I'll go ahead and clarify what it what it exactly is that I mean. Yeah, thank you. The weirdo has made it abundantly clear that he absolutely plans to continue to appear. Right, wherever I'm at. Yeah, he's very and mad. Yeah, he's talked about this old gay shit of trying to shave <laughs> someone's body and all that other what? gay shit, which is again. He did what? And that's fucking weird. Uh, but nonetheless, do you think he's gonna shave you? Do I? Huh? Do you think he's going to? I shave don't know you? what like, the guy would attempt to do. I would hope like hell <laughs> nobody would come up to me with a fucking razor because I'm gonna have to. Ask is he gonna try to shave you? Is he? Are you worried about a shaving? Anonymous says Eric's weird back hair makes it look like he has comic book character outline. I've never seen this guy IRL. I'm dying laughing at this. It gets worse, believe it or not. This is about when I turned it off, but that'd be well, fucking that's goofy. stupid, right? Yeah, that'd be that'd be stupid. But you 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 just admitted that he's a fucking idiot earlier, so I yeah I, no yeah, yeah all right so yeah 100%. we can't we can't we can't pull it pull it past him that he would try to actually do some old stupid shit like that. But as, okay, as so gay as it might be. Again, clarifying, because I'm, I'm just trying to have all the facts here. So the threats have entailed uh, showing up where you are and, and presumably in public places. Like, uh, for example, well, if you're you're going to go to a convention, he'd show up at a convention. Well, or something that like I that. don't know. That I don't well, I don't know exactly all of where he because obviously the line that he's willing to cross is going to a place where uh, we have my employees. So maybe so. Maybe he would show up to me uh somewhere else or or something of that nature but really that's not the issue i can handle myself and i can protect my myself if you know some weirdo wanted to wanted to uh run up on me in fact he, I invite shave you? he seems really afraid of the shaving I, I didn't know john riff says your shoulders will be shaved in this life or the next eric hail riley held the clip of hers if uh if uh there was something that a conversation that someone wanted to have uh definitely in the public sphere um i'm all i'm all for that like if i'm at a con you want to have a discussion with me that's fine uh, don't show up to my house, uh, and do not show up to a place of like that. I got employees. That's the only, I, I feel like that's a reasonable thing, a reasonable ask. Well, you didn't show up to your house. So you're okay with people coming up to you randomly in public, but not coming up to a place of business. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's dealing with other people that aren't me. I mean, but did he deal with anybody that wasn't you? Well, that my, I have people that work there, right? right. Did that, he, that did work. he deal with, you said no one spoke to him. Right. Well, what it is that I'm saying is that he's appearing at a place that I have other people work at it, so whether he I hear you, through, yeah, that, that's that, that's the only point it is that I'm making. So don't come to my house. Don't come to a place of business. Is that's the only position it is that I have. If you want to have a discussion, whatever it is, just don't do any weird shit. I have to act accordingly if it's any if it's any weird shit. But yeah, com coming to like weird a place shit. where I got employees and all that, I feel like shit, that's, uh, that's uh, certainly drawing the line. You have no business being over there. Sure. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So the but so getting back to it the question mm -hmm. the question is the threats are Weird showing shit. up in public which you now say you invite so I, I, that can't be a threat then right yeah say what <laughs> showing up in public mm -hmm. like where yeah. you are say what? you said you're okay with that yeah, I'm, I'm i'm okay i'm okay with that i don't know what it is that he wouldn't do but i and i would still act accordingly make no mistake like i have no idea to what to what the, all of that means right so you know for anybody that i don't trust you know, I'm, I'm I'm cautious and I'm weary. I'm aware of my surroundings. If it was cordial, all right, bet that. But if I got any sniff that it was anything but that, then, you know, I got I had any sniff. Maybe that would explain some things. Of course, act accordingly. But that's not what it is that we're dealing with. We don't even need to be speaking in hypothetical situations uh, in that regard. At minimum, the guy I did see that to, guitar and he has because he I have that on the has, agenda that he's willing to show at a place uh, that I have employees and stuff working. in. that goes for anybody uh, uninvited that they don't want there that that you can't do that. So you have lawyers that you talk to about this mm -hmm. situation. Like that's when, you, when you're saying our guys, you're talking about a legal team, right? Yes. Have they advised you to put, I don't say what they've advised you to do. If they have not advised you to put up privacy signs on the open road that you can go into the parking lot with, like, again, you may need some counsel on some of this stuff. That What's is his felony for? Somebody said he had a felony. I'm not sure what it's for. Not that I know anything about those things. Yeah, that's not uh, that's not the point of contention, man. Like him, uh, look, I'm not oblivious to it. the fact that no matter where it is that I'm out, that also appears to my, uh, uh, you know, applies to my house. Someone somewhere at some point is going to figure out where we where our, where our various locations assault and battery. Are so and how to get to them if they actually want to. That so doesn't how the matter fuck? who it is that you are. That's so how not, is he talking about carrying around a weapon? Because if you don't know, you can't have a gun if you have a felony. 
I see it was when he was younger. Maybe he got it expunged or something. I'm not sure. But the issue, the issue isn't simply that. Oh, a guy, uh, a guy knew it where it was that we were at. It's the the problem is is that someone's willing to go out of their way uh, to whether it be for a long standing gag or whatever it is, showing up at a place that I have uh, other people working and employees. And again, I can't treat that like he wouldn't do anything else. Um, that, that's just weird. Which is weird. why I'm suggesting that you should talk to your counsel about the reasonable aspect of putting up signs indicating it's not yeah, publicly yeah. accessible. Well, that, that, which we can do that, but that that's not really the point. That's not the, that's not the point of contention here. That's not that that was never I mean, it, anything it, that was argued at any point. Probably will be on that trespass. Like for the cops, like it <laughs> probably will be a point. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Anonymous says, I love that he does the intellectual black guy thing of overusing words like contention or empathize, where you know he doesn't 100% understand the word and is just accidentally using it in the right context. This is a bit, right? Uh, well, unfortunately not. Then he said he's not real. Well, point on the trespass. Well, that, again, like if I was not, his lawyer, well, I would say, right, okay, uh, yeah. there's a publicly accessible road in an open the, driveway that you can drive into. That's not the, I mean, at all the issue it is that, that I have here. The issue is not that he was able to even get over there. That's not the, that's not the point of contention by any means. So while I understand what it is that you're saying, as far as yeah, I would advise you to do all this and that, all that has been it has been uh, uh, taken care of. But that's not the thing that I take exception to. Yeah, of course, man. People can get to a warehouse or wherever it is that you're at. Again, that can he also apply that can apply to my house. You know what I mean? People eventually will find uh, well, work no. or to be and all other stuff. But what that so that's not. That's not what it is that I'm that I'm contending. I'm contending no matter if you know where it is or not. I feel Could like I'm at least owed the courtesy of someone not showing up uninvited to do kind of kind of weird weird stuff. It definitely but you did invite him. Once you you made it abundantly clear that uh you know you don't you don't really got it all upstairs. Eric is bragging. He used you. to be a gangbanger. Well, look, I don't know if his felonies are you know still on his record or whatever, but not a good idea to go about with a bragging campaign about your weaponry if you're a felon. But you just said it's the same as your house. It's actually not the same as your house. All right. um, in in a no sense is, of what it is that I'm saying, Nick, I get that. I'm trying a to help you house, make it the same I, as Nick, your Nick, house. I'm Nick, I get that a house and a business is different. You don't have to legally explain it to me. I understand that. You're taking this the wrong way, man. You're thinking I'm trying to tell you that you're in the wrong. And I'm trying to no, tell I'm you. Not, like, no, I'm not saying that you're trying to tell me I'm in the wrong, Nick. All I'm saying is what I'm referring what to are when you I saying? say that it doesn't matter. And the point of contention it is that I have with why I take exception to it has absolutely nothing to do with whether or not it is my house. James Gardner with a 20 spot. We almost need a little break. It is building A, B, or C it is that we have. You surely understand it. I'm not foolish enough to think that there's not a difference between my business and a house. I my know business. there very well is. I know that even from a legal perspective, there can be some differentiation there. I am totally aware of that, but that's not the point of contention. That's not what it is that I'm saying. All right, I'm trying to help, but that's that's, that's fine. A, and I appreciate that. I appreciate you trying to help, Nick. Okay, so are there any other threats? So the 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 one threat I've heard is that he was going to hold you down, shave your arms, which I think is ridiculous. But you have no reason the to believe, and I have no reason to believe he's not, not serious. I don't know. Um, so that I've heard that, and and then it was a public thing. But you just said that if it is in a public place, like you welcome that, so long as people are cool. So then, what was there another threat? Is there is there something else? Uh, that that that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, yeah, that's good enough. And even doing that, saying that all that weird stuff online, the guys are free to say that. I just only place I draw the line is just don't show up to a person's house, be it myself, employees, and don't show up to to the, to the job. That's it. All right. Uh, well, how are they going to see in public? Hmm. Mm. Let's see. Uh, okay, so aside from that, let's. I think we've hammered out the Riley situation. I agree with you. He should not go. I said that. I haven't changed that position. Uh, I'm answering questions from people online talking about uh, ventilating someone for showing up. And I'm like, there's a lot of questions here that are not so straightforward legally, even in Texas with property defense. And uh, and I would don't not mess with Texas, Nick, on a 12 person jury, um, you know, doing that. But you weren't there. You don't have to worry about that at all. Not a big deal. Um, so aside from the Riley thing, is there uh, I, I want to address something that you said um, on I, I, 550 live right I now on the kill stream or on rumble alone. Say, I don't know. Uh, but you said something about how you would have been cool hundred percent. If I just said uh, that Dick was my, my dude and I was going to ride with him no matter what happened. Right. Correct. So if, if when all this went down, I said, you know what? I think Dick's trying to fuck over Eric July and I like Eric July. I want him to make uh, millions of dollars, but uh, Dick's my dude. And I'm going to ride with bunnies him forever, in the chat, uh, whether he's wrong or not. You'd, you'd been perfectly okay with that. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because you're being honest. 100%. So the implication, though, is that I meant that 
but I said something else and therefore I'm being dishonest. Well, yeah, I just feel like you're not as important as, as impartial as you like to think that you are or that you, you make it appear. The reason being is because when this what? whole gay shit popped off, the first thing it gay is shit. you did, Nick, you didn't you could have acknowledged. Right. You, you chose not to. You know, you, you chose not to to acknowledge that. Well, OK, this weirdo started, which is your partner. That's cool. It's all partner. started hot side. No, me. It was not the other way around. He was hot was side. Me versus him thing. It's like, oh, what even is? I don't know that one. Is that a Texas one? You're like, oh, this whole thing is gay. And I'm like, well, you need to be applying. Well, I told you this. You remember I told you this. I told you this when the, when you first kind of injected, because, you know, your chat's asking you about all this. They know that it happened cool. on my show. It, like it, this exactly. started here. So, not, not for me, but it started because right. Nina, uh, Dick, uh, Dick was criticizing the book. Nina says, have you read it? He says no. Then everybody's like, you got to read it and do the review. How can you know? And all that shit mm -hmm. popped up. That wasn't yeah. me. So I, no, no, I don't no. know how I didn't acknowledge it. I mean, it started. No, no, no. I'm not talking here. about doing that. What I'm saying is that you didn't, that, that, as far as what? what you didn't acknowledge it, that you, you, you're presenting it as if this was a this guy versus that guy thing. When it, that's not at all what this was. Your partner started the issue, partner. right? That, that, that's, and it's all on him. This isn't an Eric versus him thing. This is a thing that he is perpetually online. Maybe he's got a, he doesn't have have it all upstairs. This is maybe his shtick. But if you want the shit to end, you don't seem to have it all the, upstairs you either. Whole thing gay and you, you're genuine about that, right? 100%. I hate That's this. That's a conversation shit. that you got to have with him. It's not the I, other I'm way. I'm not his dad, man. What, what do you want me I, to do? All right. All right. All right. So Can you're I not. I tell his, you to stop? Right. Like, right. I, well, that's like, exactly what it is that you did. No, it isn't. You, no, you said you. All right. So let's be more. No, accurate. I said. I'll be, By the I'll way, be wishing for it to stop and getting involved and making it stop are two different things. I said, Dick is a troll. And if you keep feeding him, he will keep going because okay. that's who he is. All right. So and I, and I totally understand that 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 is I'm not unaware uh, about that. What I'm more so referencing is that, hey, you were presenting it as if it was a this guy versus that guy thing. You found a whole thing to be gay. But the party that's instigating the shit, you're not saying anything about. You're not addressing him. You're trying to play the middle. Uh, you're pretending like you're trying to play the middle of the role. When the argument is that I make, you're not you, you're completely ignoring the context. I guess that is what it is that I'm saying. And the context. I, said, I think you missed the parts at okay. the beginning where I said that Eric isn't engaging this and that's good. But his fans are stirring this up because they respond constantly. Okay. And All again, right. I'm not blaming you for that. I All was right. being, enough, I enough. was respecting the fact that you were not engaging. All and then eventually it pops off. I yeah, know exactly my this shit happens to me all the time. Yeah. People bring you in. You got brought in. That that sucks, man. Like a hundred percent. Well, not not necessarily. The, no, let's just be honest. The the guy that you call your partner. I never uh, called him initiated. that. You called him that. <laughs> right. So what what is he to you? And he's just a friend. All right, so a friend. That's what I mean by partner. Same. Okay, yeah. Those are inter interchangeable, well, people, Thank you, interchangeable terms. That's your partner. Okay, I, I want to be clear because partner. some people have implied that I have a business relationship with Dick, which I do not. I, I, I don't know I anything never... about that. I don't know okay, anything okay. about that. I, I I'm know, just being I, clear on that. Okay, okay, gotcha. But no, that's your partner. That's all, it, all, all that it is that I'm saying. I'm just saying if you, and this is my honest opinion, if you actually wanted the shit to end, and you didn't, this is not something that you would prefer it to happen, you would have took that up with the with the actual initiating party. And that's not Did what I it do is that? to do. No. I didn't do that. No, 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 no. Not to my, not to my knowledge, you didn't do it. You did, however, you know, bring it up like, "Hey, I don't want you to be." I, I wish that this wouldn't happen, and this is all gay and all that. To my knowledge, you haven't done any of that. But on on a serious well, note, on, on a you, more serious, would note, you have knowledge if I did? Absolutely. If I if, if I, I have if, if I know about it, I'd absolutely acknowledge. Like, hey, well, if you okay, know about okay. it, huh? If you know about it, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's but, what I'm. Well, how would you know? That? You would you just necessarily know. Say what? Do you know what I've said to Dick about this? No, not, not I only know what you said public. Have you? I ask you, I ask you flat out, have you? Maybe. All right. Yes <laughs> I don't know. Is it yes or no? You're saying what, what you I haven't had. You're the one who said what I did. You can't sit up here and keep asking me these First questions. Of all, you're asking have, me right, to be have, his have you addressed it personally <laughs> about it? Have, have you? Have you? Yes or no? Yes or no? I'm Somebody yes to think no. a hundred times about this. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, cool. That's all okay, cool. And so how how did that conversation go? Exactly as you would expect a conversation with Dick Masterson about no what idea. they should do. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know how that is. You haven't figured that out by now. Like if it does remind me do of the Tonka interview. I was thinking that earlier too. Something that he's not going to do it. Yeah, right? what, do you, like, what did you tell him to do? <laughs> hey, Dick, uh, this shit's gay. I wish he would stop. You told him to stop. <laughs> what am I? What am I going to do? Like demand? I'm not. Oh, his I'm, dad. Not, I'm, I'm asking you had a conversation <laughs> with. I don't know what the fuck happened. Do you Nick? call people up and tell them to stop doing something? If I if I have a your friend, friend like and you, I think they're doing something that I think is ill advised, I hundred percent will. If it's you'll a tell friend, them. You I will. Absolutely, I, I, well, I will advise them in whatever way. I can't demand as a grown ass man. 
Oh, I you, say, hey, you man, can't nah, demand something of a grown ass man, but I can. No, I'm not saying. No, that's the complete opposite of what it is. And I'm saying that's why I'm asking you what it is. You, what did you say? You, you of course can't demand of a grown ass. You can't control. He's a grown ass man. I'm asking you. Did you say as his friend? Like, yeah, hey, it gets heated. The bullshit out. I don't know. I'm asking. <laughs> I'm not saying you're required know. to. I'm just you asking. knew you knew five minutes ago, but now you don't. That's no. The point I, no, here. I said. I, I said all I know is what's public, Nick. That's all I know. But first, you said you never said this to Dick. Public. You never well, asked I'm, him. I'm, I'm, referring you, to, I'm referring to public. I public came up when public. I called right, you out so on me, it, though. Let me, let, me correct, let me correct it and, and, and be more right. accurate. I'm specifically referring to what you say publicly. That's it. Okay. Yeah. No, I've, uh, I've told Dick that I, I mean, you ain't talked to me. You, you haven't talked to me about this shit at all. Would you want me calling up and saying, hey, Eric, I think you should yeah, stop this shit with If you thought I was an error, Nick, if you thought we were cool and you thought I was an error, right? Do I think you're an error? I would say, I would say, no, that's that's all it is that I'm saying. But do I think you're an error? I don't. I, I, I don't think I'm an error. Do you? No. Okay. So, but all I'm saying is, is regarding the conversation, which is the question that it is that you just asked. If I thought a, a friend was in error, I would say, hey, man, I don't think that's what it is you should do. Well, to be clear, uh, I, we may differ on what we think he's an error on, but I have said, I wish this shit was over. It's annoying. It fucks cool. up my show. And, uh, and I hate you for it, you bastard. Okay, cool. That's but, interesting. That's fine. Well, again, didn't hear that publicly, which uh, so that's that's good. Why news. would you, that's, dude? That's I, don't, I don't, I don't hear that shit out in public. Like, why would I do that? Oh man, you you talked a lot about this situation uh, publicly. Have I ever said that Eric July is wrong? Well, what you have said, you, you, you word it in a way, and I don't know if it's lawyer speak, because I wouldn't have done this if 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 I was him. That's essentially how you word things. I wouldn't have. All right, cool. Right, so this is. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually never said you're wrong. In fact, even on the places where I disagree with you, because mm -hmm. you have a set of evidence that you think leads to the conclusion that Dick and Vito are behind the contacting of the charity and behind the contacting of the ISOM company, right? Like well, I'm, that, I'm going by what it, on, on the latter. I'm going by I'm going by what was specifically stated by what them. What was There's stated no on their that, podcast? That, that was specifically stated by them. And even in that instance, in which I disagree, and I say, I do not find this to be sufficient evidence, one, because Vito is retarded and uses we in an inappropriate way, two, because that Twitter account and that email address exists. Oh, so what about, what about is, is, your, is your buddy as retarded when he says, I contacted a charity? Uh, Dick contacted the charity about something else? Uh, no, I think he clearly contacted the charity, yeah. Oh, okay. But he's not the guy who sent the email. Oh, the, okay, the email okay, that's okay. okay. So so either way, you you you're you're saying that you understand that he specifically mentioned that he mentioned he, he did the charity or he yes. contacted the charity. Sure. Okay, you're just saying that that that, that the email, I guess, as far as what I talked about in that video, wasn't him. That that's the point it is you're making. Or you don't yes. see sufficient evidence that it was. Right. I haven't seen sufficient evidence. And here's the thing. And I said, however, I don't know if people like didn't clip this and send it or you didn't see it. I don't know. But I said, however, I understand and fully accept why Eric would come to that conclusion. He and I have different relationships with That's Dick. Cool. I've known him for longer. I talked to him about this. I asked him flat out, are you behind sending that email? No, of course not. I think it's funny. I probably would have or something like that. And I'm like, well, that shit's gay. I don't like it. But if you didn't send the email, then, you know, that's until I see otherwise, I have no reason to believe your conclusion over his word. And so I said, though, but Eric doesn't have that relationship with Dick. He doesn't know him at all. And his conclusions are perfectly reasonable. But I think if you're going to start a court case, and there was talk. I don't know if you accused anybody or you he accused did. anybody. I'm not putting that on you. I know there's a lot of uh, a lot of talk about a court case, about tortious interference and all this shit. And I said, I wouldn't want to go to court on this evidence. And I'm waiting to see something more. If I see more that is more conclusive, I'll happily say that's bullshit. I hate that shit. I do not like people fucking with other people's business. All right, so hold on. Right, let's, one, let's one, second, one, that, yeah. one second, one second, one <laughs> second. One second, and every single time I always finish with, I I love Eric, I love what he's doing, and I, I want it. that man to make millions and millions of dollars. I want this shit to go away. I think the lawsuit's bogus. I think they got trolled into it, and I think it's retarded. Yeah. But now I, I wanted to clarify that. But go ahead and say okay. Your thing. So 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 you you don't think that anybody you say you don't like that you, when people try to fuck with other people's business. No, I don't. Okay. So uh, is your claim that your partner or your friend, uh, as you as you put it, so you don't think he's tried to fuck with someone else's business? It depends on what exactly you mean by that. No, but I, I, I want to know what you think, because I mean, you're saying that you don't think that you see it. I want to know how you define fucking with someone's business. So what I define as fucking with someone's business mm -hmm. in this context, business. because of what I've seen is in relation to the, the charity shit and uh -oh. then the, the ISOM shit where they where someone was contacted uh, like like a kind of Karen to get them into action against you. I hate that shit. Okay, so uh, calling for people right, to be canceled. So, so, your partner, so, so your partner did that with the with the uh, with the uh, trademark issue. 
He did that with the trade. Yeah, yeah. He specifically messaged. Uh, he tweeted at the CEO and he was like, I hope you consider like a little Karen, like you just said, I hope you consider that, you know, he uh, he did X, X, Y and Z he specifically did that after they filed the lawsuit. Maybe he shouldn't right? put a cross on Isom's deck. That was probably a mistake. Yes. Yeah. After they filed the lawsuit. Yes. OK, yeah. Uh, you're in a, you're in a legal action. man. He's commenting on it like. <laughs> all right, so so all right, all right. So you don't you don't look at that like trying to fuck with someone's business, trying to essentially instigate it is what it is. You because we haven't been served or anything like that. Uh, essentially trying to instigate that. You don't see that as that trying to fuck with someone's business, dude. If I said that everyone who talked about something in a negative way, that's, involving not, someone, that's not what it is that I'm saying. No, I, I, he, we're but, not talking about we're talking about him specifically, like a Karen, <laughs> tweeting at directly at. The, the, this uh, CEO of whoever is is involved in this trade trademark dispute uh, dispute uh, trying to instigate a law uh, the, the continuation of the lawsuit instigate the continuation yes. of the lawsuit correct because we haven't been Was served. the lawsuit ending yeah I mean we haven't been, nobody's been served so but yeah. like the lawsuit it's still in limbo was... it's still in limbo it hasn't it's still it's still in, it's still in that limbo phase nobody's okay. been served we haven't gone to court over it nothing none of that has happened. Good. I hope it costs you right. As All right. So back possible. to the point, though. What, what would you consider that? What, you would consider right, that trying to actively fuck with someone's business. Had you guys already been fighting for like two months at this point? I'm not. No, I wouldn't consider that. I'm asking you. Can you? You wouldn't the consider question? that? No, 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 not at all. I consider it that I would more so accurately putting it is that this guy has an issue with me, and that's all that it is. Had you guys uh, had a fight you the on Flashcast already at this point, and then it kept going after that? Say what? You yeah, and I thought that was going to be the end, honestly. And we watched that, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's over, but. Eric July couldn't resist. Already talked on Flashcast prior to that, and then the shit kept going after, right? Yeah, because he kept talking down. He kept talking down. Down. Oh, down. down. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, I, sometimes I mishear shit. I was just trying to clarify. <laughs> um, yeah. I, dude, is it fucking with someone's can you, business? Can you answer the question? Yeah, you, so, no, I don't yeah. think that's fucking with someone's business. All right, so I you don't, don't think trying to instigate one into a lawsuit is fucking with someone's he, business. You're already in the lawsuit. I understand that, but he's trying to instigate them into continuing it on because as, as the specific message that he he responded to is the guy saying that, well, we don't want to go to court, yada, yada, yada. And that's, you know, whatever. That is what it is. He's specifically saying that he wants to, him to consider X, Y, and Z. You don't consider your partner, like a Karen, contacting the CEO trying to instigate a, a lawsuit, trying to fuck with someone's business. Did you accuse him of starting that lawsuit? No. Prior to him tweeting that? No. No? No. You didn't say that he and Vito were behind that? No. I think he did. I think your timeline might be off on that one, brother. No, I think your timeline <laughs> might be off on that one because if you Very watch well my could video, be. I never make a call. All, all I say, all I, all, I, all I did was connect that specific email to them. The person prior, that emailed to them. Correct. Right. So prior to prior, him prior. tweeting the, the people, correct, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. So my timeline's not off. No, your timeline is you off. Just, and you're saying, no, you're, you're, you're claiming that I said, name I expi- no, 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 you're, you're, you're trying to make, you're making the claim that I explicitly stated that I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be so, as, so foolish as to do that. So Dick and Vito didn't do this then? I don't know. You don't know now? <laughs> no, I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, potentially. Nonetheless. You're just, <laughs> gonna, sit here, you're right. just sit here and honestly fucking say maybe now? That's like, you I, don't know? What did I, we can, you, you want to watch the video now, Nick? Because I never explicitly, I never explicitly say that it is that, that that was what it was that they did. What I will say is that again, the guy that sent that goofy ass email that tried to again get up his way into kind of a a lawsuit, someone took took credit for it nonetheless, and that that that's what specifically happened. That's what it is that I'm saying. I'm connecting them. There was nothing what it that is. I said in that regard that was not factual. Nothing. So you're not accusing Dick and Eric of fucking with your or Dick and Vito no, no. of fucking with your business. Oh no 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 no. Until that, that, no, 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 no. the tweet. Until the tweet oh no 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 no, no, no. That, no that's not what it is that I'm saying the guy actively has been actively trying to fuck with the business I mean he said well, he's trying to How's contact he... a charity trying to prove some case of fucking fraud that doesn't exist like a fucking Karen did he, he tried to prove a case of fraud he asked questions to charity and they answered him right what what reason would he have had to contact the charity maybe he thought you're committing a fraud okay exactly. <laughs> And okay, obviously, so there's no evidence. Of, there's no evidence of any of that existing, and it doesn't. It doesn't stop him from continuously claiming it is that that's what happened. However, did, you're claiming did, that's did not trying to. to you? What, what's the point of him doing that? He's just he's just a good Samaritan. Is he just a good Samaritan trying to look out for look out for uh, 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 people being being fraud? Is that is that's what's happening, Nick? Maybe I all don't right, know. All right. okay. okay. Did he say to you that he apologized for calling you a scammer and said he didn't think you were running a fraud? No, he. I, I don't remember him ever saying that he didn't think I was running. Uh, gonna that I, he didn't think I was running what? fraud. I don't remember him ever saying that. You don't remember that? No. 
Oh, I, I remember. I, I know he continue, continuously tweeted that I was. He said it to your face, and you said okay. I mean, he did do no, that. Said what to my face? Exactly. No, I've never I'm met sorry this guy for, in person. I've never met said, this guy in person on Flashcast. You guys were both on Flashcast. Oh, he said what? He said, he, oh, he said, he what said, on said I'm sorry for calling you a scammer. I don't think you're running a fraud. I'm sorry for. Saying I, I don't remember that latter part. I do. I do remember. I remember him, that. Uh, apologizing and then right after starting to talk shit, so it didn't seem like it was that that genuine. Well, it probably wasn't genuine. Uh, I, I didn't <laughs> think it was either. So. Are so you don't think, on a serious note, you think that he just you don't you don't think that that's someone trying to actively fuck with someone's business. You wouldn't consider in contact. Let's go serious. Like Karen's, you wouldn't Let's get serious. Any, any of that defame claiming fraud. That's not that's not there. You wouldn't consider that trying to fuck with someone's business. He's just up and just just out of his out of kindness of his heart. He's just trying to figure out and get to the bottom of this. What what, what do you think that he was attempting to do? What was the end game there? So question. How? how no, no. Uh, I'm asking you a question. Can you answer that? Sure. What? Well, Re restate it quickly. All like right, I'm so, all right I'll restate track. it quickly. Restate yeah. it quickly. What do you think? For example, I gave you two examples, and we know that it is that he tried to do that. What do you think the point was? And for example, contacting uh, the charity. What was he? What, what was he attempting to do there? I don't know. Maybe fuck with your business. Okay. Or maybe ask questions about a fraud that he perceived. Okay. So the question I have for you though is: Are people allowed to investigate a perceived fraud? Oh, of course. How would one do that? Maybe they would again. Maybe they would contact the uh, to contact charity to try to find it. So if someone sees something and they go, "This seems like a scam or fraud," and they contact a charity, that's something they could do. Yeah, they can do that. He could do. He did it. He he's the one that did it. Of course, he could do it. So that's fucking with someone's business. Well, he was attempting to fuck with the business absolutely because there's nothing there, and it also well, I mean, didn't stop he him. Hold on, that it didn't stop him. Yeah, well, yeah, of course he knew that. He's just trying to find smoke where, where there's no fire, essentially. He, there, there was nothing there, Nick, is the point it is that I'm making. There was nothing there before. There was nothing there after the fact. It didn't stop him from continuing to do things as such and claim that I was scamming and that I was doing all these various things. In addition to, and I gave you another example of trying to instigate a lawsuit. Press F if he's a fraudster. A, a lawsuit that's already well, a going. that already exists trying to in, instigate, instigate the Instigate the, the continuation of a lawsuit. Got it. Continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And, and you don't find anything. You don't find any issue with that. Dude, you guys have been fighting for months. <laughs> You're gonna, I, I'm cool. I'm cool with that, Nick. I, I'm all right. Like, I'm, cool I'm gonna be that. honest. I don't think that that's. I don't think that's fucking with your business. Right. Like that. I, 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 I starting something new. I, I disagree. You're I disagree. welcome to. The, I, the thing I, 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 I hate, disagree. Yeah, you're welcome to. The, the thing I hate about the charity shit is, I have a shit ton of questions that I would love to ask to clarify that stuff, but and and I want to be a billion percent clear. And I'm never. Excalibur sent ten dollars. Let me interrupt the content for a bit. Sure. I heard a certain old feminist bitch died on my payday. I heard that. Pop too. the champagne. Hell is getting lit and Satan's got a new guest of honor. Good riddance, you old bitch. Hey, yo, Fine, Stane. I see a lot of F's in chat. Rest in peace, Fine, Stane. I saw Dick say death. death. What do you say? It's the only thing they can't take away from us anymore. They can damn sure take everything else, including your children. you had access to some tortas well i got all the access in the world to tortas there's literally like six torta places around my house we'll go back to some fine scene stuff later i think that was the first segment i like this Feel free to interrupt the content. If we hit the halfway mark, I got a little idea for a call. We'll see if we get there. How far away are we? 29%. So we're pretty much on pace, actually. I haven't been on air that long. 
Uh, 29% of the way there on the sixth hour transformer fund. If we hit it, we're going till 10. What will we do? I don't know. But we'll go till 10 p.m. Eastern. I have some other stuff too. Powertad.live slash the Ralph Retort. Check it.com slash killstream slash pay me. Killstream.live slash tip. Dollar sign Sunset Squad on Cash App. Also Rumble Rants, Entropy, and Hyper Chats on Odyssey. Never faltered from this. I do not in any way think that you have done anything wrongful in regards to any charity. Okay? There are questions I would love to ask to clarify uh, this discussion we're having about why someone might do it. But if I ask those questions and you answer them weirdly, it could compromise you. And I don't I want you to this, do that. Have you, have so he's you, saying, uh, don't talk about the charity. This, um, and I answer whatever questions it is that you have. Have you pressed your partner uh, like you, like on like these things and had a conversation like this publicly with him? As far as all the claims it is that he's made and all the, all the things it is that he said, have you asked him about uh, any of that stuff and asked, you know really got to the nitty gritty on that? Uh, no, he didn't ask me. Okay, to. so so you've never done that. By All the right. way, so, you demanded to come on, Eric. This wasn't even Nick's idea. Go ahead and ask me what question you have pertaining to the charity. To be fair, I hadn't done it with you until you came into my right. chat on my show after calling me out in fucking public, lying about what I've said. What did I lie about? Wait, 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 it doesn't, of course, on the other ones, it just whatever you put down. So if you just use your Google Pay, you can just put whatever name you want. But on Rumble, it just shows your screen name. So actually, I don't even think it, it'll show it when you send it. But I think on the back end, it doesn't even show that. It just shows that you got sent a certain amount of money. So Rumble Rants is a good option for that if you want to use that. Make a fucking fortune. I want him to do everything. But I haven't seen claim. I have not seen privacy.com to support that. that, that Dick and yeah, that's a good option if you're using power chat too. You can use privacy.com and then create your virtual card. You're that's lying. Not, now you're lying. You're, now you're lying. Not yes, you are. Yes, you are. My, that, that, do no, you're, you're fucking lying because I've never, I've never once made that claim. So now you're lying. You're lying saying that I said you objective because you said those three. You, I, I, I said you that said you weren't objective. Not as because, objective as I thought. That's what I said. And that ne never once did I say <laughs> it was because of you, you saying those three. I will three humbly things. suggest you do not know the definition of the word objective. Okay. Because what I've said and is. And I don't think you know the definition of lying because you're claiming that I did something that I did not. Or, ma matter of fact, maybe to be more accurate, you're a fucking hypocrite in that regard. Because you're I'm lying on me in, in a position I'm not that lying I don't on have. You. Say what? You have, you have said that I am not honest and not objective. Okay. Right? Yeah, I said, no, yeah, I've said that I don't think you are as objective as you lead, lead yourself on to believe. Or lead uh, the, maybe your followers and others to believe. That's what it is that I said. So I'm deceiving my followers. Is that what I'm doing? I'm lying about the situation? I don't think it's necessarily uh, deception. I think that's just more so a natural response to, you know, if you got a partner, that's your boy. Partner. And therefore, I'm not, that, I'm not rolling with thing. my partner. I'm not doing that. You're not doing what? I'm not rolling with Dick because he's my friend. If okay. Dick did this, I'd just call him a fucking idiot. And you know why? Dick wouldn't care. Dick told me to disavow him specifically to make my life easier, Eric. Okay, all right. Go ahead. This Anonymous sent $5. Eric is suggesting that a lawyer doesn't know what lying means. What a retard. He walked in. He just walked into this whole thing. I mean, it just gets worse and worse. I haven't seen this part yet, but he goes on about the charity here in a minute, too. All right. Um, and that's cool. Like, I'm, not telling, I'm not telling you to disavow him. You absolutely only claim are. it is that I'm... Say what? You absolutely have done that several that times. That is a fucking lie. <laughs> Buddy. Oh, maybe you didn't explicitly say it, right? So you just uh, implied oh, that I just, it's I just, I just implied, I just implied that, I, that I wanted you to... Nick, you can be friends with whoever the fuck you want to be friends with. That's not, that's not a problem. He's getting mad. Of course. So that, yeah. that, that's never been an issue. They're not so anymore. Me, me talking about you being objective is me essentially saying that I don't believe you're playing the middle, the middle of the road. And that How you don't play the middle of the road? Explain what that would look like. All right, so for me... If you were honest with the situ with your claim that you, and this is the first thing, and I'm going by the first thing it is that you said when you put yourself, well, we can't say that because can't the shit it. happened on your show. So yeah, the first thing it is I that said, you said, oh, fuck, stop this. Say what? I, the first thing I said was, oh, fuck, we got to stop this shit. Like, right. I don't, so I don't want this shit. Specifically what it is that I'm saying is that you, when I first saw you post that, injecting yourself into this whole ordeal, or, and your, or your position, right? Because you can't say you injected yourself because you were part of the, I guess, the stream that popped all this shit off. The only thing it was that I'm saying is that, and I told you this, again, I keep referring back to this. I specifically said, if you have issue and you don't want this whole ordeal to be a thing, 
your issue isn't with me. And there is no reason publicly to play this as if this is a me versus him fight. This is your partner doesn't like me and I'm the responding agency. That's it. So that's been my position the entire time, Eric. Okay. I will accept I will accept that that's your position now. Okay, so that's what I need to do to be objective? No, no. I, okay, no, I'm, no, no. I'm trying to no, find no. a partnership over. Objective. So how do I be objective? What is the outcome that would make because me Because you will be honest with the you will be honest with what's actually happen, happening happening if you I'm genuinely dishonest. believe. Okay. Say what? <laughs> you just implied again that I was dishonest about it. No, I, I, yeah, I'm saying on you're not honest about who what what the situation actually was. Initially, this was your partner didn't like or friend. Let me stop saying that. Your friend didn't like me. That is what it is. You tried to play it as if this was an Eric versus your partner thing. It was never that. No, I said it was Eric's fans responding to Dick, who okay, clearly so, so not, you weren't situation. talking about me when you were when you were uh, talking about that whole ordeal initially. You were saying that that was my that it's my fans. Well, they it are was your fans. Okay, all right. Misunderstanding. I said them. I said Eric is not <laughs> responding. I commend him for staying out of it. Okay. No, not not during that. No, no, no. During that period of time, I don't. Well, well specifically, what well, it was. Well, you did engage, though, right? Like, like you did. I'm not, and that's not bad. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not accusing you. You did enter the fray with Dick, right? Well, I like guess you've gone back and forth with him by responding. Yeah, like yeah, you did say, yeah, by yeah, by responding to a uh, to a, to a, to a review. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What? So like. And so, so am I never allowed to suggest? No, that see, you see, no, stop! Don't prep, don't try to set it as if this is. I am demanding or uh, demanding that Nick Ricada do X. That's not what it is that I'm saying. My, you, cl you claimed I wasn't objective. I'm trying to find out how I would have been objective. You all right? How you all right? So how you would have been objective is you would have went instead of trying to play. Yeah, he did that say card, the very next sentence. You're right. I believe, and I could be wrong. Maybe that's a cultural thing you would have went directly to, to, to the person that was the initiating party that kept this bullshit going on and would have addressed it with them if you really did not want this gay shit to actually be a thing. Because I but believe because, you. Because I didn't do it in public, though. Yeah, because now, now to news to me. You, you said that you talked to him, you talked to him uh, privately. I, that, that was news to me. I never knew Wait that. I know you didn't know that. I no. didn't tell you. Okay, so I, I'll, accept, <laughs> I'll accept that that's what it is that you did. And now I have new information. So am I objective now? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're more objective than I gave you credit for. Then, am I objective yeah. or am I more objective? More objective than you gave gave, uh, gave yourself than I gave you credit for. Let's be more. But I'm not at objective yet. No, mm. I don't. I don't believe that you're. That okay, you're, so I, then, to, then, then to be fair, well, all right, so let me be. It's your claim, bro. I'm just trying. I know. To I said that I, you're not as objective. More so, I said you're not as objective as I think you lead yourself uh, 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 to believe. And yes, I know you're claiming what I have convinced myself and my audience yourself. of, and I'm trying to figure out what things it would be for me. And to I, and I just you gave you an example. And to be honest, to be honest, Nick, I just gave you an example. And then when I even give you examples, to me, you can't even concede. A similar, this is why it's so difficult for me to believe that you're trying that you're trying your damn your very your level best right to be objective when you can't even acknowledge the fact that this guy is actively and took credit for trying to ruin someone's business first things first let's get back to that objective thing and then i'll get to that second thing because i was i was trying to finish the statement but your claim is that i'm not objective i'm asking for information on how to show i am and when you gave me the information, I said, hey, I've actually done that thing. Mm -hmm. And then you had to walk that back a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then I said, am I objective now? And you said, no. So I asked, okay. Well, what I, other all right, things? all right. Well, so, because, well, oh, hold the fuck on, man. Okay, man. So, okay, man. So when I ask for more information, it might be because you have another misconception that you wouldn't have any opportunity to know about right. my position. And, 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 and I've, given, I've already given you two examples, right, of that of what to me is blatantly obvious and maybe you disagree and maybe that's where where our disagreement uh, uh lies because you, for you actively going to fuck with someone's business is not actively going to fuck with someone's business you just well, i mean we that. have different definitions of actively fucking with someone's business i want to know how anything dick has done would fuck with your business outside of some people might not like you that's right Ta so what, all right so let me ask you he's this confirming he's what? confusing being objective with being on his side right that's exactly right do you consider that what does that look like if someone's actively fucking with someone's business or attempting to ruin even though they explicitly state that that was what it was that they did Right. Even though I would make that argument, that's not necessarily the attempt is there. Right. The intention is there. He's explicitly stated it, but that's not yeah. good enough for you. No. So here's the thing. I asked you because you, you brought up contacting the charity. Right mm -hmm. now, we've, we've separated that out from this other guy who did the, the charity and the ISOM people. That was a separate email. 
And so we're, we're not talking about well, that. Well, I don't have, about... there's no evidence that there was, that that wasn't, that, that that's not the contact that the person was referring to, number one. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, ignore that I said separate people because we're different on that and that's fine. What I mean is we're not talking about that set of incidents. We're talking about the one that Dick said where he contacted the charity, right? The, the one he specifically said, I contacted the charity and asked some questions, right? Yes. Okay. So when Dick contacts a charity and asks them questions about what he perceives as a fraud, even if he's just being an asshole and thinks you're defrauding because- Anonymous sent $5 dumb black guys talking like how they think smart people sound like is grating as fuck. It's worse than a woman doing it. Yeah, well, also how long does he stay on here? Okay, so there's like 30 minutes, okay. I didn't actually know he was on here this long. Holy fuck. Because he hates you. I don't. Even, I don't know why, but he sees it. He says, "I think this is a fraud." Contacts a charity. I asked you if someone's re investigating fraud. What might they do? Would they contact the charity? You said yes. So the follow-up question that wasn't answered was, "How is that fucking with your business? Like, what stands to happen if well, Dick I'm contacts the charity and asks regarding questions? the intention? I'm speaking. I'm speaking the re re uh, regarding the intention because obviously there was no fraud there, Nick. I agree. I don't see right, any so fraud. Ne there was never any fraud, but that didn't stop the motherfucker from claiming that he was. And you would you would agree that kind of claiming someone's doing fucked up things, especially when it's pertaining to children, is kind of fucked up, right? Unless they believe it. <laughs> so it's unless they believe it. So if, Dude, even though I, they have even though they have zero proof of it, they keep claiming that it is well, because they thought. want to fish for something that wasn't there. They didn't even get anything, it's right? An they opinion. Didn't get, there was no there was no. Uh, uh, outside of that specific email that the co-host shared, we have zero evidence of any sort of contact. None. Okay. There's no evidence, but but we do have him explicitly stating that he did. Okay. So right, either so way, so I, either way, at his word there, right? Like that he he did contact them. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm taking I'm taking him at his word. Yeah, I'm taking him at his word that that's what he did. But you no, also said it would be reasonable if you thought there would be fraud that you could investigate it by contacting the charity. All I'm asking is. If he contacts a charity and he's completely wrong and all of his all of his questions are blown out of the fucking water, how does that hurt your business? I'm talking about the intention of trying to fuck with our business. That's what it is that I'm saying. But okay, hear me out though. Let's let's do a hypothetical. It's like, all right, yeah, you going to try to go whoop someone's ass, and just because you lost a fight didn't mean you attempted to get in the fight, Nick. No, no, no. It's uh if if I think that someone is committing a fraud and I want to call them out for committing a fraud and I contact the charity and then I don't find fraud. And you still, like and you mean, still, and you don't find fraud. There's no evidence of it. There was nothing presented that showed it. You still claim that it exists. Well, let me say this this way. And I hate being a lawyer on all this shit because I'm delineating between my opinions and other people's opinions. I've clearly stated, I didn't see anything that looks like fraud. Although there are questions again, that I would ask uh, if you're open to it, but I don't want to ask those questions because it, it, it is in regards to wording and I hate that shit because I don't want to invite anything. I don't want to be accused of ruining shit because I have no intention to ruin fucking anything. I just want to do my goddamn podcast every fucking and I don't, day. And I don't, I don't, I don't knock that for you. I, I, I don't, I don't want, I don't knock you for just wanting to do your thing and, and, and do your podcast. I'm just saying, That's what I but do. if someone is committing a fraud in your opinion and you contact to find out, are you, like if they are committing a fraud, yeah. isn't it good to ruin their business? There was, but <laughs> there was no fraud. But he believed, assuming he thought it was genuine, he believed there was, right? Okay, all right. So if we assume that, so you're giving him a lot more credit than I am and saying that he did that, right? He believe, he genuinely believed there was a fraud. Okay. I don't know what there he was believes. No, okay. I'm sorry to begin there. I believe there was a fraud, honestly. So what- If okay. I ask him, he'll probably say, yeah, I thought it was fraudulent. $17 for a fucking comic book's ridiculous. Okay, so what in the fuck- <laughs> There was no proof of it. What there's the nothing fuck? that's come that's from that. There's nothing it. that will come from that. It didn't stop him from claiming that there was that there was uh, six hundred live across it didn't two stop channels. Him from, um, some, from saying that I'm frauding kids and all that good stuff. Do you believe that going around constantly insisting that, despite it being completely false, fabricated, that someone, especially when you claim to have contacted them yet were unable to find anything there, right? Do you believe that that is an attempt to try to fuck with someone's business? If I say yes, you're gonna say, "Ah, I tried to fuck with someone's business." No, if no, no, I no, I'm not. I just want you to be honest because I I'm am being that's honest. What, <laughs> that, that's what we're discussing, though, Nick. We're the whole point of this discussion right here is you don't agree that this person was actively trying to fuck with someone's business. And then when I give you an example of it, all, all I want you to say is that you believe that, yeah, that absolutely is the case, or it wouldn't, because I'd imagine that definitely with you being a lawyer, you would think that it's reasonable that something like that, the attempt is right to fuck with so you just you just explicitly even said that you said what well, isn't it good to fuck with someone's business <laughs> that's what it is they're doing 
Yeah, so the, the hard part about this is I'm trying to give the answer to someone whose mind I don't fully know, and that's the second part of the answer that I was trying to give, which is there was a follow-up to that situation, right? The follow-up to that situation was an answer from the charity, a public statement that was really nice. They're very praising of you, correct? Uh, wait, as, as far the, as the charity, the, the charity made some post or something. They said uh, how, how great Ripperverse has been. You're donating all this comics and they've donated money and all that stuff, right? Like that happened. Yeah, that, they, that they, happened, yeah. Yeah, and this is not an accusation. He acts like he doesn't even know what's going on. Subsequent the to the inquiry by Dick to the charity, did you not donate additional funds to that charity? I donated funds to the charity before that was a post was even a thing. In fact, they acknowledged that. Did you make a subsequent post after or a subsequent donation after the post? Our agreement was that we were going to keep giving them donations during this whole uh, campaign window. Right. So I, I, I'm not getting into your intent. I've said a million times you did not commit fraud in any way, in my opinion. Okay. And I, to get to why this answer gets fucking complicated is the accusation is leveled, right? That you are charging too much and pocketing money. And I don't believe that accusation, but that's what's leveled. Charity makes a post, Ripa donates more funds after that, right? Like, I'm not wrong on the timeline, right? You had an agreement, I understand, but that's what happened, right? That's what the public sees. The public, as far as, as, far as that post, yes, the post, they posted about us. And is that okay. what it is that you're referring to? Yes, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They posted about you and there was a donation that came in. You said uh, a stupidity, donation was made spicy. before cash in addition to books before that post was made. And then there was an additional donation or, or maybe 10, I don't know, 10 donations. I don't we've know how many. Yeah, we don't. All right, so I'll explain Great. to you exactly, exactly what happened, which is what it is that they've already explained uh, publicly uh, as well. We popped the charity off with with uh we funded you did an what? entire initiative it is that they that they had right um right. and then we agreed we agreed with them um contingent on on on, on x amount of books being sold we're going to keep donating uh to you guys money so we awesome. gave them Love money that. prior to any 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 conflict any any supposed conflict or any claim of uh of, of fraud or anything like that and they've acknowledged that yeah the charities acknowledge that right yeah yeah, uh, is that agreement about the books and all that stuff? Is that I was public say or is the first time it's being public. That's but they've already split. Uh, they've already stated that. They've stated that in multiple posts. That's public. Okay, I see. I'm not aware of like the the full nature of the agreement or any of that. I haven't seen any of that. But let me ask you a question. If you think someone is defrauding so something, right, and then you call them out, and then after that call out, there's a post. And then there's another donation. Is it reasonable in any context for the person who thinks you are defrauding someone to think that post was a makeup post? They're scared about being called out on the fraud. Do you think that would be a reasonable conclusion for why, someone? Who why hates why them? would they post that if it actually legitimately was a fraud? What would, what would the fraud what would the fraud be? I have that you were overcharging for books and donating books for less value than what you charge. That's the claim of the fraud, right? You are overcharging for the charity book. That's the claim. I, again, I don't believe this claim. I'm just saying that's the claim, right? We were already, uh, Nick, the thing is, and, and that's made, been made public, is that we it's, had already I'm gave them money prior to the post I'm that they made, or prior to the claim that it is I'm they not, made, and we gave them multiple, obviously, not as the spells came in, that happened. So why on earth would someone, how could someone come to such a conclusion? So hear me out. I hate <laughs> X company for... Because I'm an asshole, and that's the only reason. And I think that person's scamming kids. They're way overcharging for a book, pocketing money. I contact the charity, I make that accusation, and then the charity makes a post, no, they're a great business partner, and then another donation comes in. You don't see how the person who hates that person would think that maybe that donation was a cover-up. Cover up, but fraud. that doesn't make again. That doesn't. I'm not make saying sense. it makes it true. I'm just saying, could you see that? No, being I, couldn't, a I, I couldn't unless someone's just trying to f trying to make it seem like that's what it is. When it's not, they're forcing. They're forcing. What it issues. is? We objectively gave them money prior to any 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 sort of any, before anybody even. I knew, hear you. Before again, anybody I'm, even knew about this, so that's the thing. That that's the thing. That how can someone say that there was a scam that existed when we had already given them money prior to someone claiming that there was a fraud? So I mean, this was not a case of, oh, oh there was another dope. There was an additional donation uh, or, or not an additional. There was just they got money. They just got money uh, after there some there was a claim of fraud. Was delivering a book to the charity seventeen dollars? 
that was that was well let me say this was delivering a book to the charity 17 dollars. i didn't we, want to ask these questions eric was delivering a book to the charity 17 dollars. that was the cost and i'm explaining it to you that was the cost associated with operating that included the sales of the that that, that, that included the sale of the actual physical book and all the operations associated with because we had to pack we had to uh, uh, uh bag and board we had to uh ship it we had to palletize all of these orders and we had to send those out and it doesn't even fucking matter you know why nick because what? we gave them money i agree with you so what, why is that even a question because i trust you doesn't mean everybody else on earth is required to trust you That's right not the, no not, not i'm not saying that everybody is required to trust me by any means what it is that i am saying is that i we gave them as a company we gave them money right yes we, the 17 I, that we the 17 that we 17 that we charged and by the way it was not just 17 dollars. and i wish you would people would say that. that was not the average cost of the book what was the average cost the average cost uh, the average the average cost i think came out to some closer to like 13 or so dollars because okay, we so offered it in bundles so the more money it is that they got so he did I don't know, is, there, is there something that was confusing right there nick well yeah i didn't want to ask you these questions man did you solicit a book, a charitable donation for a book for seventeen dollars, and the actual cost was thirteen dollars? That's not what it is that I said. I'm saying that that's you the what you said. No, 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 we didn't ship just one book to the charity. So I didn't no. Ask if you did. So no. 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 Okay. Those were the costs. That, that was the cost us that Get we. Get new charged. lawyers. What? Get new lawyers. Okay. I'm gonna explain exactly <laughs> what the cost was. Uh, <laughs> we calculated the 17. It was like 17.50 that we said that you could buy for a solo book, right? That yeah. was what we had calculated on our end. That included the the actual book. That included the um uh, uh like again bag board. Oh, All the you just said they cost 13, not 17. Remember that is that is uh that is in that whole ordeal. We sold and we incentivized our readers, right, to purchase more books. The more books they got, the cheaper that it was in terms of their actual donation. So this isn't some gotcha or anything like that. We specifically had a setup, it was agreed upon by ourselves and our customers to get these books not only out to these uh, to, to our uh to them just bag boarded palletized all that good stuff but we also gave them fucking cash that was the number the number that we had associated with that was what for, for us to feel good when it came to if they ordered one even though that wasn't the average and we knew that wasn't going to be the average that was the cost associated with the labor and everything it was to I ship want to talk one about this individual book you got to stop talking about this right now dude <laughs> i'm talking about shit you're trying to make it seem as if it's something that it is not me. No, I'm not. There I'm is nothing there. You no, no, no. are. We're not even going. We're not even going there. Where you're trying to insinuate, acting as if there was some error. When I talk about seventeen dollars a book, you're talking about for one book. When I said no, I'm specifically referencing the fact that we we went out of our way, Nick, to incentivize our readers, our purchasers, to donate more books. In order for us to do that, we allowed them <laughs> to get multiple just as if anything else is not anything unique to us so that they at, at that cost at cost right could continue to get more books why did he just give the charity money oh unless he's trying to just sell more oh, yeah. could this charity don't put yes, your head down i want you to explain to all the people <laughs> what it is you, that you lawyers and stop talking about this i'm not uh, all right i told you i don't want to ask these questions you said ask me anything i said i don't want to ask these questions because i believe you did not commit fraud i 1000 1 billion percent so i, believe I guess you did not. i guess everything it is that i said you somehow think that, that somehow is, is maybe proof the fact fraud. that you don't is why you need different lawyers on this all subject right, brother okay. all right all right i don't want to ask questions about this i do i, not I would, I would love for you to continue to ask questions because nothing's there <laughs> nothing's gonna happen i don't even know why because see you're so that was right yes that's like, right oh, no i don't want to dramatize this that's exactly what it is that you're doing that's exactly what it is you're doing there was no fraud and you're not Dude. pointing to any fraud just by simply saying was the book seven one was someone got 17 1750 i just told you how those costs were associated or how those costs were calculated there's nothing there there's no smoke there i don't know why you're even pretending that that is the case i understand that you're a lawyer and you're telling me now to get new lawyers what do you think is going to happen to us now nick i hope to god nothing and nothing will and, and, and i'll tell you what how about this please well, please let how, it about, be how about we we'll, we'll revisit the <laughs> we'll revisit it 
uh, we re revisit Please let it, it be that way. Uncomfortable, and I don't want to talk about anything that you're uncomfortable. Hit like. I get about. accused of drawing the shit out of people. And I tried not to. You I didn't. didn't you didn't draw. There was nothing that you drew out. There was nothing that you drew out. Brother, and do nothing's not gonna happen. ever suggest that you are soliciting donations for seventeen dollars and it costs less. No, 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 Just I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm not. That 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 is a that is an incorrect assessment. If that's what you what it is that you picked, you up, said that that. that that was incorrect. That's the what donut, everybody all, has picked way, up since you said it the first time, and that's why some people said, believe you commit fraud. And that's why some people because you solicited a book for seventeen bucks or seventeen fifty, whatever it was, for a charitable donation, and then you stated publicly on Twitter that it was less I per book on average. I, I I hear you. I am no, but you know, I hear. What, you. what do you think I, it I is that I'm saying that when I say less on average? What do you think it is that I'm saying? That what do you think I'm cost, referring to? Seriously, that it doesn't cost seventeen book uh, bucks to get a book. No, 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 no. But no, well, we're, <laughs> Nick. Uh, all right, so now I see where the confusion is. Mm -hmm. That's not what it is that we're saying. What I'm saying when I say it was less than 17, I'm saying that was the, I'm, I'm referring to the average, the average cost to the customers, because mm -hmm. when you look at how many books were donated on and, and you uh, uh, calculate that or divide that by how many customer, how much the customer pay uh, in, uh, individually paid for, it was less than that because there right. was a discount when you got more books, Nick. That's why I, it's lesser of a dollar. That's I not a secret. I'm not introducing you new, new information. I yet. know. I know that. Um, and I have said, I believe you. It's not about what you did. It's about what people perceive. And and why would that be? What, what, are you saying that they didn't perceive before that if you bought more books, it meant less? Because someone who doesn't trust you will suggest that you're pocketing four bucks a book. On no, the no, 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 no. Nick, I'm Nick, not Nick. saying you are. I'm telling you that's what people believe, dude. Okay. Well, all right. Well, I'm and, I, and I'm saying. Well, I don't think people genuinely believe that. I don't you think don't? you're understand. No, no. I think that you're referring to your partner who tried to say your that partner. he was a scam, and really, who was the only one that said that was. Say was going to stop using that. Uh, that was existing. But again, I dude, think I, I, think am, I a, sit on the board of charitable organizations, man. You need different advice on how you word this shit. I'm okay. trying to well, help. Like I'm like don't believe you did anything wrong. That's what I've been trying to say, man. Like. Okay, man. I'm not all trying right, to right, so, well, All right. Well, I will say this. That it is no secret that on average, as far as how much the customers paid for by basic math, it was the, it was less than 17. And we've long made that public because, again, more books meant. Well, then lesser, that's why uh, people have been saying this. So that's not news. But if that if that somehow incriminates me. OK, Nick, it shouldn't. <laughs> OK, it I'm, again, I'm not making the accusation, man. That doesn't make. But so. I've that I've sound the boards sense, of charitable man. organizations, dude. Like. Okay. If someone asks you if it costs 17 bucks to ship a book, you say yes, that's what you charge because that's what it costs. Period. But that's not what we charge. That's the point it is that I made, Nick. That is what you charge. If someone clicks that button, they pay you $17, right? No, no, that's not what happened. If the, if they if they got more more most people got multiple books, Nick. I know, but if the person who clicked on the $17 one book thing, they got for that, one book. For that individual item, yes. Then that's what you say. No, you I don't have to explain all that other shit. All that other stuff is public, so uh, and it's not. I mean, it's not me saying, be. "Hey guys, hey guys." <laughs> apparently, it is cr incriminating. I shouldn't tell you that when it was live. If you <laughs> bought more books, that meant that the book cost less when you bought it. Thanks, Nick. Did, I appreciate you. you. That's, that's, I know it's. I know it's making you uncomfortable. I go ahead and I, I will stop talking on that. <sighs> All right. Okay. And, and 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 for the record, and I get that you're saying that I needed to get new lawyers. All this. This whole deal legally was set up with lawyers that are involved, um, and there was I figured dumb yeah, and, and there was no there was no worry about any of that. So your and I get that That's you're saying why I said get new lawyers, Eric would be your worry, or I don't know why, but you're saying that it would be your worry. It was not the worry of the lawyers that are involved. Good. Okay. Um, ignoring discounts. ignoring any more specific statements on the subject and just going by what was said here. Can you understand why someone who hates you? might think that when you say it's one thing online and then you say it's something else, an explanatory thing, and then you make a donation afterwards that that might be trying to cover for what was called out. Like, again, someone who's bad, like they don't like you, bad faith. They're not going to take you at your word. Do you see how they can make that conclusion? No. I think I think if- Well, then if, you're fucking dumb. All right. On that all right. So when I, when, I, and when I say no, I, I, can, I can certainly see how a bad actor could reach for something that isn't there. And that it doesn't, and, and it doesn't well, need to be actually agree. that complicated. So I can at least see that, Nick. I, I, I'll for sure I can see that. But I will say that there's nothing there. There was never anything there, and I don't see how that. I could agree be. with you. Okay. Okay. I've never made the claim. I'm trying to show you why people who don't like you might continue to make the claim. All afterwards. right. So going back to the back to the point, you don't think that's trying to ruin someone's uh business? If they believe it, then no, man. Okay, but if it's false, is it? 
Yeah, if they if they find out it's false and they don't think it's true, then that's well, shitty. Wait, wait, does the truth rest upon what what they believe, what intent. that individual believes? Yes. Does that just give them leeway to be able to just claim someone's doing something it is that that's not they're not especially? Can you explain intent intent to this retard? It's criminal. I mean, yeah, that's so how you, defamation works. Right, so you you would agree that figures. you think okay, exactly. So do you think that would be defamation if they have knowledge of the falsity and like you know believe and and. The problem with knowledge of the falsity is everybody thinks, oh, well, they know it's false because it is. That's not actually sufficient. Like they have to, they have to believe it's false. Like they have to have a, or they have to have a reckless disregard for the truth, which is they, in, in the face of all evidence that should be reasonably accepted, they still, uh, they still run with the other narrative. But I'm telling you, there's a bunch of people who don't have to accept what you say. I don't, you uh, and I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that you don't think that that's an attempt to ruin someone's uh, business. Again, if they genuinely believe it, no. Well, I mean, I guess it would be a justified ruination. Oh, so, them, you, so, right? so, it, so it is an attempt to ruin a business, Dan. It's just justified because he believes it. Yeah, if there's a if there's a business that uh, shoots kids in the head, and I want to stop <laughs> it, I want to ruin that business. Right. Okay. So, so, but, but you're agreeing that he attempted to ruin the business. Now you're just saying. Now I guess the question <laughs> now isn't whether or not he he believes it. And correct me if I'm wrong, Nick. You're just saying that you think it was justified. If he or, or, believes or that he it, believes it, would, it was justified. So here, here, oh God. if I think a business is doing wrong, like legitimately doing wrong, and I call them out, that's not trying to ruin a business in the sense of being a dick. That's trying to ruin a business that's doing something objectively wrong. Right. right? And, and I understand that. But the, yeah, so no, you I don't, don't have a problem with people doing that. Right. And but however, like, so it, regardless, the question isn't really of whether or not he attempted to ruin the business. The question more so is if it was justified. I mean, yes, if we want to break it down into that specific semantics. Okay. So, we, Kenny so Jones. we agree for sure at minimum on that, so, that he, he's attempted to ruin a business. So Yeah, uh, but if someone's attempting to ruin a business for a cause they find is great, then I don't have a problem with that. Right. right. Well, I don't think that's a, a, the argument that it was that I've never made was that whether or not you, I guess, you know, have a, have a problem with it. At least we agree that that you that the guy tried well, to ruin a business. And you've previously said it. I don't think he's to ruin a business that's immoral. Right, and, and I understand that. But you agree, and that's the bottom line of what it is that I'm trying to explain here is that and you know, that's before the bottom was, line. I didn't see anything of them trying to ruin the business. And now we're breaking it down. And now you're saying that, well, he did try to ruin your business. He was just he just thought that he was justified in doing so. Dude, I colloquially use ruin your business on, you know, the Internet to suggest that someone doesn't have a reason to ruin a business. OK, that's so that's the shitty. qualifier. Well, so, I mean, that, I, I, that's, I thought that's an implied qualifier, right? Like again, like, what the, are you this saying that like so if some uh, that my position would be if some guy's out there gassing dogs? He cannot. No, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying I'm and, not and saying I say, that. Well, I don't want, not, I'm not saying that it's unjust to fuck like someone's business that uh, or if they're in the business of doing something that is legitimately criminal. I'm not saying that putting a spotlight on that is is the fundamental problem. That's not what it is that I'm arguing. What I'm saying is at before and getting back to the original point, the, the original dispute was that you didn't see any example of him trying to actively ruin the business. Now that is now switched to, well, yeah, we now have an example of him doing it. It's just not justified. And now I get it. What you were saying, I guess you were prefacing it saying that, well, him attempting to ruin the business. I was more so speaking that, well, it's only when it's unjustified. I didn't okay. and I understand it with that. Now, that. I didn't preface with that because that is the reasonable assumption of what someone's talking about. OK, OK. Like, that's right. not a weird thing, dude. No, no. Well, I, 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 I will say that I misunderstood you on that because I, I just I, I misunderstood Wait, you, you on that. You legitimately didn't draw a delineation between like someone being a, a cunt and trying to disrupt someone's business for no reason and someone thinking someone's doing wrong and trying to disrupt well, their business. Like, the, you didn't, well, you the didn't argument, think there's well, a difference there. Again, in, I, I do recognize that there's a differentiation between someone that is doing nothing wrong and then versus someone that is doing something wrong. That's not the, that's not the, uh, what's up the question. God, this is like what we brought up is that well he's contacting the charity and he's There's constantly not much claiming more someone like as, as scams. And on top of that, he, no, he has not reached all. out to the uh, you know the, the CEO and uh, of this 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 whole trademark uh, dispute, actively wanting him to sue people, and he's admitting it. He's flat out admitting it. Yeah, you guys have called each other a bunch of names for months. He doesn't like you. And I understand that. But that, that was the argument. That's the whole point is that you're like, you're saying that, well, I'm not seeing an example of someone trying to ruin your business. I haven't seen one. And you're saying that, uh, so, and, and if I understand you correctly, you're saying that he's just justified when he attempts to do it. I think he believes he is. I don't, I don't agree with him, but I don't think he's lying about it. 
Okay. It is Friday in Armour. Lying about about what he believes about the charity. Like you, you think he's just he's just flat out lying. Yeah. So you don't think he believes it at all? I I think that he wants other people to believe that there was something that existed that wasn't there. But you think that he doesn't believe it? He just wants other people to. I, I think that crazy motherfuckers uh will believe whatever the fuck it is that they want to believe, and they will lead their audience to believe whatever it is that they that they wanted to wanted to believe. That's you. I know that there's nothing fucking there. Yeah, and he, I, I think I think that he at least understands that. But there's there's intent there. The intent is I want to fuck with them regardless of that. So you think? Uh, hold on, I'm trying to process what you just said. You said uh, that you think whether or not he believes it, he's trying to fuck with you. But you think crazy people will believe whatever the fuck they want. But he'll lead his audience to believe whatever it is that he wants. But he might not believe it. So I, I don't know what he believes. <laughs> no, I'm trying to figure out. Does he believe it? <sighs> Do I think that he believes that I no, I don't think that he genuinely has found any evidence of fraud by any so means. So you don't think he believes that you commit fraud? No. Okay, I, not not that constant. Asking. No, I, I just think that he is he wants people to think that, that and that's the part of the attempting to ruin someone's business is that he wants it to be true and he wants the audience to believe that. Right. So you have a different perspective than him, probably, or I guess, I don't know. Maybe he agrees with you uh, and he doesn't believe it. I'm not sure. Well, but you asked why, like, you well, asked for the I, distinction I, this, on all this, this stuff. Thing. I, I get it, man. Like, you, now, now, no, you now don't. I more so understand where it is that you're coming from and what your, what your position is. Is that Yeah, it's called objective. Yeah, yeah, okay. No, let's go with that. So I'm my cool objective that. now? I, I, got, I got better understanding there. Am I objective now? Because you said yeah. I wasn't objective before. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're more, you're more objective. <laughs> now there's a qualifier again, more objective. Am yeah. I objective? Well, that was, no, that, that was always the qualifier. That we know that's what he's time. saying. I've asked you like ten times now. And how, I've been do be, how do I be objective? Time. What else do I need to do? So <sighs> both things that you brought up, right, you so, now said I'm more objective. So, so you didn't know, you, and we right, cleared so for we cleared me. Up and, and for else. me, and for me, I think when I see things that are as obvious and blatant as that, as specifically the two examples it is that I gave you, and instead of acknowledging like, yeah, that's the guys attempting to fuck with your business, you're you're um you're, you're trying to insist that well. When you say that, it's it's no. only if if it's if the guy feels that it's unjustified, and that's the now, now all of a sudden that's the qualifier. That's not all of a sudden. That's the only that's, reasonable right. fucking conclusion. That's the only reasonable conclusion to the position that is that you have, and you have not. So all right. So if we can be more accurate about what your position actually is, is that you have not seen any example of him trying to ruin the business that he thinks as an individual is unjustified. I've taken him at his word that no. Okay, so at that point, there's <laughs> nothing that can be proven Good Lord. in which he could be <laughs> trying to ruin my business. There's nothing that he could do. My business. Unless he told me that, no, I don't believe any of it, and I'm just being a dick. All right, so, uh, so un okay, so unless he... Uh, unless he he felt like he was unjustified doing it and told you that would be the only way that he would not be in attempting not being in an attempt to ruin our business. Do you think Dick could convince me that you committed fraud? Can he? That's a question for you. I, I honestly don't I've know. I've said a million times. You he, said I don't you don't believe he's... it, so obviously he hasn't so far. Right. Yeah. So you cannot just easily convince me that Dick is trying to ruin your business without some Keep sort of Keep in mind, and that's not, that's not I really want everybody to remember, this was Eric July's idea to come on this show. That's not my desire. No, no, no I, I know, I know, I know, I know. But listen, listen for a second. So you can't do that, and he can't convince me that you're committing a fraud, right? So where's my bias? In that equation, I mean, when you press it like that, that I think is the bias equation, is in the fact right? that you're giving him the benefit of the doubt. Well, I, well, I'm not supposed to give him the benefit of the doubt? Well, no, I am saying that we you have- You understand there, what there objective been, fucking Z1, means? Right. <laughs> I've given you both the full faith. I've given you both the exact same credit. And I've known him way longer and way better than you, but I've given you the exact same credit. That is the goddamn definition of objective, brother. All right, so, you've got, so, uh, your, so your reference to objectivity is only and solely if you've taken <sighs> a person's word for it. That's it. No, treating both parties equally. As far as what? I've taken <laughs> both of y'all's words for it equally until I see evidence otherwise. I haven't seen any from either of you. As far as uh, you haven't seen any evidence of what? What do you need evidence from me for? <laughs> we just went through all this, I think. <laughs> that he's somehow unjustifiably going after your business. <laughs> right, you don't well, think so because yeah, right, you're no, biased. Well, we have a better, we, we, that I will agree to, that we have a better understanding of what your position is there. 
My position is taking both of you at full. Faith. No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not referring to that. I'm, I'm referring to that the whole business uh, trying to ruin someone's business. That's I was just trying. Why well, I'm trying to show you that I've been objective from okay. the start. And I'm, even I'm, when I'm you okay with Accuse that. me of the opposite, man. And okay, that's right. what's frustrating. Having, having better understanding of what your position is, I'll, I'll accept. I'll accept your word for that. Thank you. I like, yeah. dude. I. If I told Dick his worst piece of shit, and I think he was ruining your business, I disavowed him constantly. It would do zero bad for me, zero, other than and, and my I, personal and, integrity. And, and, and that's, again, I, I want to be clear. I'm not saying that you should disavow anybody. I don't think that's something that I think that's just kind of gay. I'm not telling you who to be friends with and who not to be friends with. But there is a guy that is obviously actively trying to fuck with someone's business, and uh, oh god, you, know, you just dis you just disagree, and that's cool. Yeah, it's not that's that cool. I disagree. It's that I have no. Well, you don't have evidence. You don't have evidence on either uh, side, man. Because okay, yeah, I'm objective you, on it, brother. Yeah, just doesn't have. You just have don't have conclusive evidence of, of, of that. I don't. And I, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that being your position. Good. That's been my position from the start. I hope I'm not saying that it dollars. wasn't. I have a better understanding after the conversation, Nick. Yeah, and I, I want you, you to make. Yeah. I want you to make every fucking dollar on the planet. I want you to sell a trillion Thank books. I you. always have. It's never not been true, man. Thank you. I gotta say, um, you mentioned that I never reached out to you. Uh, I don't have any DMs either. Well, I, uh, I've never taken issue with you like that. You did last night. You called me out on two live streams by name. Well, yeah, because you were talking about me, Nick. The fuck? Like again, this isn't a. This isn't. A, here we go. We're, we're Cody for five in the Rumble Rants. Can we hit the goal? My business, my business. Stay the truck about my business, my business, my business, my business. So. Back, back to square one, where it's like. I'm the responding agency here, and then you're like expecting having that, having that expectation of me. I haven't contacted you because I haven't had a out? fucking problem. You obviously did. Not like one today, brother. No, no, yeah. I just I, I gave you my position, and that that was my genuine opinion uh, opinion of, of the situation. I thought the shit was fucking corny. That was my position, <laughs> and and that's cool. That, 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 that that's all that it was. It, it, right. it, it, it and and yeah, like if I if I had like a genuine problem, this is what not, and I made. I, I see you didn't acknowledge this, but when I said what it is that I said, I was like, hey, there, I don't have it. As disappointed as I might be, I don't have any fucking, yeah, I don't wish no ill will, and I don't got no fucking problem with you. Because if I had a problem with you, I'll just tell you, Nick. All right. So, yeah, that's I'll why you that. haven't got no DMs for me. Okay. Yeah, I, I have not uh, seen any reason to quote unquote correct you or <sighs> anything other than clarify my position of, uh, I think this shit's gay completely. Dick started it. I mean, Dick responded to Nina, but yeah, Dick started it. And uh, and that you eventually engaged. I think your fans engaged at the beginning and stirred shit up. And I do think that even though I don't think it's the cool thing to do, that not feeding the trolls would end this. But I'm not telling you to do that because you have a business model that involves monetizing your haters, making fun of them, showing them out to be fools, which they often are. I've laughed at plenty of those. Uh, I still laugh at it. Riley's a fat fucking retard and a stupid idiot for showing up at your business. If he did that to me, I would tell him he's a dumb motherfucker. Okay. So uh, the reason yeah. I've never messaged you, um, and I say this publicly, is because you didn't want to talk about the lawsuit. I didn't want to ask. Well, I like it because without that, we don't get this. Drag you into that conversation. You could reach out. You did today, which is awesome. Is there anything else you want to say? I don't want to sit here and belabor this. Uh, I got I got no bad blood with you, man. Uh, I hated hearing that you thought that like I was being dishonest or disingenuous in any way because I've never been. And uh, if I had a problem, I would fucking tell you. But I I don't have a problem with you. I want you to make all the money on earth. And I, yeah, and I, and I appreciate that, you know? All right, man. Anything else you want to say? No, I'm good. I'm glad we had, I'm glad we had a conversation. Me too, man. Yeah. All right, guys. Go back, Isom. Thank you. Use uh, promo code pull up. Get that book for five yeah, bucks. Yeah, use, use promo code pull up. And oh, you, you can get it for five bucks? Huh. That's interesting. That's a lot less than 17. So there's a promo where you can get the book for five bucks? Not seventeen dollars, not even thirteen dollars, but five bucks. Hmm. That sure is interesting. I have to say. By the way, as I pointed out, he could have solved all this by just giving money to the charity. But what that wouldn't have done is inflate his sold count, sell count, whatever. And I saw him bragging about that last night. And it wouldn't have given him a tasty little profit either. But it still would have given him good publicity, which is the whole point of donating. I mean, you know, you want to help the charity too, but if you're doing it for PR reasons, just give them money 
pretty sure Dick has said the same thing. Just cut them a check. You could even say on behalf of Isom and put a fucking Isom whatever figure out there, art, whatever. You could still promote your book. Uh get the book for five dollars. You got forty eight hours. Uh so you can get it for five dollars. Does that include packing and palleting and that you can get the book for five dollars? Check right. it out. Use the coupon code. Pull up. Well, there you go. Thanks a lot for coming on, brother. All right, man. Be easy. Peace. Uh, five dollars for the book. Seventeen dollars for shipping equals twenty-two dollars. Yeah. Uh. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC Adolfo. Remember to like and subscribe.